Give me a mic check, Robbie. Mic check, one, two, mic check. Mic Lee. check, check. Mic check, one, two, one, two, one, two. <coughs> mic check, how much good a wood chuck, chuck? A wood chuck, good chuck, wood. Remember when we used to have to read that? I know, dude. <laughs> back way was there fucking a, was back. Was there a wood chuck thing? There was. Oh, yeah. Because I, I was still trying to figure out how to do levels and all kinds of stuff. It was a paper he'd handy, and you had to fucking yes. read it before the podcast. Yes. Yes. That, yeah, was that, that, yeah. that was still right by the kitchen there. That's old school. I like that. A long yeah. fucking time ago. Yeah, that's when I was still trying to figure out. And South that's, Carolina, we got Texas, Florida. And that's when none of you guys were confident yet. So everybody was like reading the thing all quiet. And then we're getting shit faced. Then they would get a couple <laughs> couple beers in them. All of a sudden, they're they're just blowing the audio out. I'm like, can you guys just talk like you're going to talk on the damn podcast? While on this ride called life, you have to take the good with the bad. Smile when you are sad. Love what you've got. And remember what you had. Always forgive, but never forget. Learn from your mistakes, but never regret. People change, things go wrong. Just remember, the ride goes on. Let's freaking do this, huh? Let's do it. Let's do it. Hey, Bikeaholics and listeners alike, the show is still going strong because of a lot of hard work and your support, of course. Thanks to all those loyal listeners and true friends of the show that have supported us or are supporting us. For less than a coffee a month, you can help support us too and put a little fuel in the law-abiding biker gas tank to make sure this show keeps moving on down the road. So, calling all law-abiding bikers, head over to our Patreon page and take action today. You can do so at lawabidingbiker.com forward slash Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N. Oh, did I mention there's benefits too? From all your friends at lawabidingbiker.com, we appreciate each and every one of you. God bless and ride safe. That's right. You see him right there. Law dog? No, in no. the house. Hi. Popeye? Popeye. In the freaking house, guys. This is going to be a hell of a show. Salute. Mm. Whiskey River, take my mind. Salute. Oh, yeah. Once you've had Rick Rack, you'll never go back. Forget those messy straps and bungee cords. Go strapless with the Rick Rack quick attach luggage system and quality bag. Head over to lawbidingbiker.com forward slash store. Get hooked up right freaking now. Hey, Bikeaholic, Zero 3D has a wide variety of innovative products for your Harley-Davidson motorcycle. Affordable chrome lighting and comfort products. These guys ride. Yep, support riders just like you. Head over to lawabidingbiker.com forward slash store. Check out our full line of Zero 3D products. Mm-hmm. And, 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 and now, straight from the Law Abiding Biker Media Studio. Out of sunny Yakima, Washington. We bring you another episode of the number one listen to motorcycle podcast. We're in your head. We're in your head. We're in your head. We're in your head. head. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. Do it. Oh, feel it, Popeye. I feel it, buddy. Welcome back, you freaking bikeaholics. This is the podcast for the motorcycle majority, the big MM, also known as the 99 percenters, baby. That's right. Large and in charge of the motorcycle scene more than any time in history by listening, by being here live, you are part of what we call the bike revolution, revolution, bitches. In stereo with the bitches at the end. We're getting started <laughs> right off. I like it. That's right. Mm-hmm. We just do have one question for you before we get started. What are you freaking waiting for, bike bikeaholics? Mount up and let us take you on another wild-ass ride. Oh, my goodness, dude. That was none other. That was straight off the cuff, bro. That was nicely done. Popeye in the house tonight. Popeye, dude. Nicely freaking done. That's right, guys. Thanks for being here. This is a live patron-only event, a two-part series we're going to do here, but this will come out later for all of you listening in regular podcast format. Several months down the road because we do do the patron only live video broadcasts. Um, you have to be a patron member, of course, uh, at, at mid level uh, to get access to that. Uh, we send out an email and patron and stuff like that. Um, nonetheless, real quick, a um, little housekeeping. Let me tell you what this episode is going to be about. First of all, it's going to be a two part series. Um, this is part one of one, and uh, it's going to be all about our recent uh, 10 day uh, 4,200 mile. Uh, we're going to call it the Midwest. Is that fair, Robbie? Shit. Jesus, Jesus Christ almighty. It's not snow. 
<laughs> we got shit spilling. Let's in try the a full studio. one. Let's er, try er, a full one this time. Yeah, I'm glad that was empty. R- Rob's knocking uh, blue moon bottles across the studio here live. <laughs> that was live for you guys. I, I would like to do that in slow motion for you, but um, yeah, Midwest that works. It's in the camera. Yeah, so the Midwest trip. <laughs> Let's take that away. <laughs> um, but no, thanks for being here. So that's what we will call it, the Midwest trip. We got a lot of patrons that we got to meet over there, and we're going to talk a lot about that kind of stuff, guys. Um, real quick housekeeping, if you guys are patron members, obviously, get in your patron account. Make sure if you have a Google Gmail account, you also have a YouTube channel. You just don't know it. Make sure you enter your YouTube channel link in your patron account. That way, when you comment on our YouTube videos, it shows up uh, in orange, and it shows uh, that you're a patron member. So we like to scroll through and, and definitely uh, see you know, our patron members and answer, um, those kind of questions and all, all that kind of stuff. So again, um, YouTube channel link in your patron account. That was a little bit of housekeeping. So, Oh Jesus. Hang on. What do we got going on over here? Keep going. Oh, you can't move out of frame. Take a piss already. He's, Oh, he's moving the, uh, put it behind us. Yep. Putting it behind you. So yeah. And we got a full house in the live chat to guy, uh, tonight. So we're going to get right into the content because again, it was a 10 day trip and we have a, I know we're going to have a, a good time and we'll try not to go, uh, all too long, but anything up front boys? No. Okay. Let's do it. New free video real quick, guys. I always like to announce and we've got a ton coming out on the YouTube channel. This is a recent one I did. It is the best five GoPro action camera mounts for Hardy Davidson and other motorcycles. I do a lot of filming, of course, on this trip. All of you uh, have seen me on trips before uh, filming my documentaries, um, uh, films. This uh, uh, this is some of the different places and different mounts that I use. I don't always use mounts. Sometimes I do it handheld, obviously, but um, I will put the link in the show notes, lawbindingbiker.com forward slash whatever show number this is because it's a long URL, but it's it's on our YouTube channel. It's it's free. It's the best five GoPro what's action a, camera mounts for Hardy Davidson and other motorcycles. Yes, sir. What's a URL? A URL is just a a, a website link. For, you know, <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Is that the World Wide Web www it's, part? It's the thing? URL. Okay. URL. <laughs> it's, it's the URL. <laughs> Um, I'll put that in the show notes for you guys, but that is a new free video getting a ton of comments and uh, traction on that one. So check it out if you're interested in doing the old GoPro thing uh, going down the road. So let's thank these people real quick and then we're going to oh. get right in. Oh yeah, go ahead. Hold the fuck on oh, here. Oh Jesus, what, what's going on? What? I don't even get any intro music. I asked you. Oh, you want your, oh, the I was hell? just going to get right to the comment, but hey. This is bullshit. Dude, if you, there you go. He's got his shirt on and everything. Oh, yeah, I do. oh you do, yeah. See, I like it. Bullshit. Well, if we did that, dude, then we got to then we got to do. Uh, okay, I'm gonna sh- bring a sombrero next time. Yeah, uh, be sure you, you run in here. There we go. Lurch isn't in there, but we got Speedy. All right, there's the appropriate intros. All right, now and, we can get into the content, dude. I forgot how much those mean, dude. I was yes. just straight up gonna get to the only reason I come down here, right? Yeah, to, <laughs> so you can <laughs> so you can hear your uh, yeah yeah no doubt, dude. That's awesome. All right, let's thank. These patrons right here, dude. David Shepard of Bluffton, Indiana. Larry Watson of Martinsburg, West Virginia, top tier. And Alex Pestle of Lone Tree, Iowa. Mm, nice. Cody Burnett of Unionville, Tennessee. Ron Wilcox of California City, California. Carrie Prophet of St. Robert, Missouri. He's a top tier donator. John Ferris of Hayes, Virginia. Alan Floyd of Evansville, Indiana. And Eric Kemp of Plymouth, Massachusetts top tier nice thanks guys lawabidingbiker.com forward slash patreon p-a-t-r-e-o-n that's right sign up pledge a certain amount per piece of content no risk to you because you can put a monthly cap so you stay in your family budgets there's benefits t-shirts private facebook group and access of course to live events like this uh, where you can uh, chat live and then all up to access to our premium videos our for purchase videos up on request all the details are over there guys so there you go Let's do it because we have a ton of content. Let me, oh man, we're gonna run over. And yeah, we are. We are. <laughs> yeah, that's why. That's why I wasn't gonna do the intro music, dude. But it, it, it only took a second, so we're good to go, dude. All right, so let's bring up our uh, show skip notes here. Your gay Rick Rack stuff or something. <laughs> Not my <laughs> intro. Once you go Rick Rack, you never go back. I've never heard it that way, like you put it. But he, okay, and, whatever. And, and yeah. by the way, Lee did not just call one of our paying sponsors gay. Okay, so um, yeah, the, the, we we put them because they're an actual paying sponsor. I know. And we, I know. He just it's messing. good equipment, and he knows. He knows. <laughs> Shane would think it was funny over there at Rick Rack, dude. He don't care. Um, good, good people, good bikers over there. So, um, so let's just. Do you want to just start it, Rob, um, with uh, what we're doing here? And, and I will say this: 
Um, this will bring a little shed a little light to it. Now, Popeye, this this will uh, 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 spark something with you too. We were actually at some point going to make this trip sh- shorter. It wasn't actually designed. It seems like it was last minute when we extended it out, wasn't well, it? Right. Yeah. Initially, we were going to ride Utah, and then it changed about four months before, and then. Some guys were taught the first two days were going to be eight, 800, 900, about 900 miles. And so some guys were like, Hey, I can get off a day early. I'd like to leave a day early. So then we talked to everybody going and everybody could make that day early. So we broke it into three days, which was nice. Yeah. Hi, it was a long trip as it was. So we we're laying down the miles on this one. <laughs> I couldn't imagine shortening it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. We, and we were gonna, well, you keep saying 4,200. I did 45 something. Well, maybe yeah. I did do 45. I was yeah. just guessing. Cause I, I effed up my odometer like halfway through the trip. So I didn't really know. I was just, I was kind of guessing by Google maps or, or a ride plan or what it said. Yeah, I was over 4,500 on okay. this one. So yeah, never so mind. 10 day, 4,500. Well, you would be more than us. I too. would be more than you. Yep. Cause you're up there. So anyways, um, so heading, heading out day one, we're going to go through the days here. We did have a lot of debacles, a lot of fun we things did. happened. We had some uh, motorcycle, uh, issues, which was kind of a first, um, had some more, I wouldn't call them major, major issues, but at least issues more so than, than we've had in the past. So minor issues and they were all taken care of quickly, but, uh, Still yeah, screw- we, we definitely had some, we had some issues. Yeah. Screwed some, screwed some, uh, things up that, yep. uh, days and, and things like Made that. days but- longer than they should have been. And they were already long days. Correct. And that's one of the things we've talked about in the past. Um, the more guys you go with, Right. The more susceptible you are to having that. The more what you are? Susceptible. 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 <laughs> susceptible. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for correcting it's not my. not susceptible. Susceptible. That was susceptible, I guess. It was susceptible. Yeah, baby, that was susceptible. <laughs> <laughs> so the other thing I want to say on this is <laughs> we, uh, we didn't have a lot of the crew with us this time, which was odd. Yeah. Um, here from the Yakima uh, chapter, of course, this is a combined sworn few motorcycle trip. It's combined with law abiding biker media. And uh, uh, we, from here in Yakima, it was just me and Robbie. I think that's a little, right. l- no. Okay. The other trip that it was only me from Yakima. Or, the other John, one I blew my knee out. Yep. That when you blew your knee out, when we went to Utah. So other than that though, just the way it goes, the more guys and summer and vacations and stuff, we certainly would have brought. Uh, and I know Lurch, I was with him this weekend and he, he, he really would have liked to be there to meet some of you guys, but it just didn't work out this year. So, um, Rob and I met up, we bombed down to rattlesnake. We had, uh, quite a bit, a few of the, uh, uh, well, two, right. We had you and you have to remind me, you and, uh, me Jeff, and Sarge, you and, me Sarge. and Sarge. So two from, and cause, um, squid blew his, both of his knees out. That's both right. Both of his knees. Yeah. He was hauling some, uh, oh, he was hauling some, he was arresting somebody, bring him out of house and a uh, porch gave way and he blew both of his kneecaps up into his thighs at the same time. Dude, just thinking of that. I know. It's right? just every time I think of that, I'm just yeah. like, that. and it's been a long road to recovery. And I'm proud to say that today I went and had a beer with him this afternoon. He's back on two wheels. And so he's cruising again, he's, but it's been a long road for me. I can you imagine both your kneecaps popping up into your thighs. I can't. That's what happened to him. I'd have cried like a baby, dude. Oh, yeah. I'd have sucked my thumb yep. for sure, dude. Yep. That's good. Glad to hear. Um, yeah, I uh, saw a picture and group me of him back on the bike. So that's awesome, Squid, if you're out there listening. So um, we met the other guys, and we had the Tri-Cities guys. They they brought uh, a few guys. Yeah, they had a good crew. They had full, a good crew. Full, full chapter. You're right. It was the full chapter. Yep. So, um we're yeah. missing, yeah, we're missing Indian John. We're missing freaking, we're missing quite a few people on this trip. We still had yep. quite a decent amount. We had, yep. a, we had a fun, we had a fun crew. It was, it was a good crew. And we met up, you'll hear as we go through the trip, we had other people coming. Um, Brad uh, from California yep. was, he was coming over to meet us and Jonathan. Be real. Holen, be real. Yep, be real. That's uh, 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 Brad. Um, he was coming over to meet us. So there's different points of the trip that we had different amount of people riding with us and We'll talk a little bit about, I'm going to have Jonathan. We'll talk about that in a bit because yeah, he needs to come in for a separate he is, podcast. He so. does need to come in for a separate podcast. And I'll tell you guys why in a little bit. We got a lot of chat going on. So if you guys see something in the chat uh, that, that uh, <laughs> uh, Jan says, Ross says it's pronounced susceptible, susceptible. So um, if you guys see something pop up in the chat there, just let me know that's uh that's yeah, we got it covered. Don't worry about it. Within line. Oh, well, yeah. You don't have anything covered. You're, you already <laughs> threw a beer bottle across the 
Are you no, here? No, you look like you're dozing off. You almost took out two um, Mac laptops, dude, with your damn beer bottle. So anyways, we fired up, uh, me and Robbie, and hauled down to Kennewick. Uh, they have a Rattlesnake down there, Rattlesnake Harley-Davidson, because that was the meet location where we were going to meet up the Tri-Cities crew. So you got, um, just to put it in perspective, because we're going to talk about it, you got uh, Lee, Jeff, Rob, uh, Law Dog here, Popeye, me, Brian, Rick. Um, I think that's everybody at that point. And uh, they love us down there. You remember JR, the uh, uh, employee? He's a he hung out with us outside. Yeah, he yeah. hung yeah. out. Taking and, all kinds of pictures and stuff for us there, Rattlesnake. Yeah, he, uh, he JR's cool. He had remembered us because we had that video uh, uh, get a ton of views when uh, Lurch bought his. Oh, yeah. His 15 road glide down there. That's an older vlog that I did. Oh, and uh, JR remembers Gave us. Some so, good pl- publicity. He, he was, yeah, 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 he was all over it. So, um, yeah, you guys can pick up anytime lunch. So we bombed from there straight through to Baker city, Oregon, and we're going to have a, our first freaking debacle oh, here. Oh, we did straight up dude. Yeah. At AJ's corner brick bar and grill. Yes. Mm? Yeah. Anything about that well, place? Right. If bikers are going through, that was good food. It's right downtown. So it's off the freeway a mile probably. And it's kind of cool. Cause you get down in kind of the old town, you know, it's this original town and it's all brick buildings and stuff down there. So it kind of looked, you know, look cool. It wasn't, uh, just you know, newer, right. Newer construction or whatever is old school stuff. I've been there a hundred years or something. I agree. Since I Sarge agree. was a boy. Since, yeah, right. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. He's not even here and you're busting his balls, dude. It's not even fair. It's not even fair, dude. Uh, so he's a Sturgis right now. He is Sturgis. Jeff Sturgis. That's I for did. Uh, oh, I got his all his rings on. Stur- oh, guarantee. Got his bandana. Oh, yeah. No yep. helmet. Wife's got his pasties on. <laughs> <laughs> Janet. <laughs> <laughs> Janet is his wife, guys, if you don't know. And she's a, she's a fireball. She's, she's a nice lady. She's a, she's a nice lady. And she puts up with Jeff Sturgis, Jeff. She doesn't wear pasties though. She does not wear pasties. It's that just we an know of. ongoing joke. <laughs> At least not when we're around. The, Ross Thomas says, damn, I was hoping I could catch you in, in a bikini. LOL. Um, so here's the first debacle guys. First debacle. So I'm just getting started with filming. Pulling this. out of lunch. Speaking of, I didn't say this. I, I digress just a little bit because that's what I do. Now, I do want to tell you guys, because um, I will forget by the end, I feel, you guys know last year I did the Canada documentary film. Mm-hmm. That's That takes a absolute monumental amount of time to edit these documentary films as I get more involved with this. I know a lot of you have seen the the free one, the Canada documentary. Check that out. I'm, um, I do want to say I will be doing, I have tons of footage and it'll be out next week. It will not be out next week, <laughs> <laughs> maybe in a week and a half, but give me a few extra. It, it will not get edited till this winter when I have some downtime, just like last year, because it's going to take 80, hundred hours for me to, to get through that and tell a story on a 10 day trip like this. But it, I'm planning on doing that and uh, that will be available. It may be for sale uh, for just a little while and then, um, then I'll put it out. But anyways, don't forget, guys, we still do. I'm eventually going to put it out, but we still do have the uh, you top tier patrons, of course, get all our four purchase videos um, up on request. So a lot of you have asked for the you top tier patrons, the the Nevada, California motorcycle strip uh, sworn few documentary that's still for purchase. And uh, um, you can find it. It's just uh, lawabidingbiker.com forward slash Reno dash documentary dash. That's the trailer. Um, or you can just go to the website and search Reno documentary film or whatever, and you'll find it. Um, that will eventually be out. And I know a lot of you have seen it. So I just wanted to say, yes, um, I will, uh, I fully plan on, um, doing a documentary on this trip. And there's a lot, a lot of information to tell in that documentary. So the first tobacco, uh, the first back to the first tobacco. First so first tobacco, we roll, we're, yeah, we're rolling out of town. What was that? Or what did we say that city Baker was? City. Baker city. So we get up, we get back on the highway and we start heading down. LD, were you up front with me at that point? I can't remember. Yes, yeah, before we got in trouble. Yeah, we got in <laughs> trouble. Jesus Christ. A couple days in, we got in trouble. <laughs> You're so not going to let it go. <laughs> we, so we, let it go. <laughs> so we, we take off and we're heading down the highway at, you know, 90 miles an hour, wherever the speed limit is, and head out of there and 80 88. miles. 80? Is it 80 in that area? I think so. 80. Could be. I, I, I don't know. Whatever the speed limit was, we're going down the speed limit, heading down the road, and uh, I start getting some. Uh, information from the back you know some arms waving or something because there's construction in the area and whatnot too of i can tell we got we, something's going on we forgot something or we lost something or whatever 
And so we all pull over on the side of the road in the median. And that's where you kind of, you know, we, uh, me and, uh, me and Ryan were talking. He says, shit, I lost my GoPro it fell off. Oh, what the hell do you mean it fell off? You know, it's sitting on the back or something. He took off and fell out of a bag or off a seat or something. Anyway, so his GoPro falls off. He's telling me it is Gundy, Gundy with the wind. And, uh, so we got to go back and look for this damn thing. And who knows where the next exit is. And of course we're in a hurry because in this world, shit disappears real quick when you lose it. Right. Correct. Yeah. I fully expected it to be gone. So we yes. did a little, uh, police motors training and went through the median. We did <laughs> down through the, down through the sand and the freaking grass, all the dry grass. And I was hoping we weren't going to light something on fire, <laughs> no you know, doubt, hot dude. pipes and, you know, come bombing up through the median, but a few of the guys weren't too sure about, no, they yeah. weren't. We, we have no problem. No, we're, but we're so, about, not everybody's the same talent, a writer in our group. And I think that some people were like, uh, once they saw us do it, we were right about there. 10 miles out of town at that point. We, we had were. to turn around and go back. Yeah, we were. Yeah. And then, yeah, so we had to turn around and, uh, then we were, yeah, coming to get back, uh, checked a speed trap on the way back through town. There was a stater sitting on the side of the road, but came into, uh, back into the city there and went to look for the GoPro. I kind back. of figured where I, I knew if I lost it, it wasn't going down the road. I knew that you set it on the plan that I set it on. No, yeah. I set it on my seat. Yeah. You were telling me that. Yeah, so right I there. have all my film gear, my bags, and I had set it on my seat fully intending to put it back on my hand. And so I knew that if it was going to be, that's where it was. going. So be. I went in the restaurant we ate at and mm-hmm. asked if anybody turns it in. They said, no, they didn't know what we were talking about. And so we no did. get we're out of outside. my restaurant. <laughs> yeah. Get out of here, <laughs> sir. Please leave dirty bikers. <laughs> so we're outside talking. And I said, hey, let me go in this place real quick. And it was like a travel agency or real estate office or something. So I went in there and they're like, oh, yeah, lady left her number. So Ryan called her. I couldn't believe it, dude. Couldn't believe it. Yeah. So I got a little story about this. I fully didn't expect to find it, but that just gives you faith back in society Mm -hmm. that there's still actually decent people in society. And I know there is because we have, you know, a ton of um, uh, community here at law abiding biker media, but we're still, a little more jaded probably than the we, average person. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm fair to say I'm very jaded <laughs> yeah. sometimes. Um, but this lady, I called her and the business had said she left her name anyways, long story short, cause we got to keep moving along. Um, we've almost we, made we, it to day one. We're, we're at lunch. <laughs> we're at lunch. You're right. <laughs> we're screwed. You guys got, I hope you all got six hours to invest in this podcast. We're, we're, it's a, now a four part series. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going straight to work from here. I think, <laughs> um, but I called this uh, lady and she tells me that she has it. It's almost like a, a, a dope deal, dude. She's like, um, can you meet me at the Safeway parking lot? And I'm thinking, oh, it's going to be for ransom or something. But no, she sounded like a really nice lady. And so we all drive over to the Safeway parking lot. And she said, I'll be standing up front. And of course, I got this on the documentary film. And she's got two girls with her. They're very conservative people. I can tell right away, which is really cool. I don't know how to say it other than conservative from that area. You know what I mean? Very nice people, small, very small town, kind of shy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Not in your face kind of deal. And here comes these bikers, dude. And I could tell right at her face at first was like, <laughs> I had no idea into. that, uh, <laughs> that I, that I'm giving a GoPro back to a biker Run! gang. <laughs> She's thinking it's a biker gang. I'm, I'm out of here. But if yeah. I walked up really nice, just Some two of Kara, us, Kara stuff filmed on there or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that, dude. <laughs> we need our video equipment That's back. Right, exactly. <laughs> and she had uh, the money shots on that one. We need it back. <laughs> well, we money were, shot should have been on her face. We're not on. Work. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. It's just starting This is why out, me, and, me and it's been years it since has. me and Rob have been allowed to be on Correct. mic together. Pretty much banned. Yeah. Who did I tell that to? Um, oh, I was doing a live or because we just sidetracked this said, thing every time yeah, no, i didn't oh it was the it was the recent update podcast i put out and i said rob and, and lee are going to be in the studio it's quite a dynamic so make sure you <laughs> tune in <laughs> or something like that dude but i meet this lady and she's got two young girls with her like i say conservative conservative gal and i'm like i couldn't believe it i actually gave her a hug i was like can i give you a hug she was a little bit like i'm not sure but she said yes and i gave her a big old hug and uh uh the girls right there. Uh, I told him, um, that, uh, I appreciate them giving me my GoPro back and I took him in. Um, and I don't think they drink Starbucks a lot. That's how kind of, yeah, just, you could tell the upbringing, maybe they come from a farm or something. And those girls went through the roof, um, that they were getting, uh, I said, anything, any size you want, whatever you want. I took them up to the stand. They couldn't even decide, dude, they were so excited. Those girls. And, uh, I asked her if it was okay. And she's like, 
it, I don't get it for him normally, but it's okay. You didn't and tell him to listen to this podcast, did I you? Did not no. okay, good. I didn't want I didn't want to ruin what she the the the, the, the perception she had of me or you. you grow up to be right. strippers by the time they listen to this. <laughs> yeah, right. geez. They're looking up Kara Kara right now uh-huh. on Google. What's Kara Kara? <laughs> Money shot. <laughs> um, but uh, um, I bought him a Starbucks. The lady, uh, she goes, I, I was try- trying to turn the GoPro on. I didn't know. I don't know how to use it. If there's like information on it of owner. And so I pulled it up and there's a picture of her dude and the uh, live audience can see me and she's holding it up at the ceiling and in her face and looking at it and stuff, dude, trying to figure out she actually recorded a bunch of videos. So I told her, she goes, cause I, I told her we were making a documentary film and that I was going to put her on it and, and thank her for it. And she's like, yeah, she was really worried that I was going to put that. So I deleted it in front of her. And uh, anyways, that's my GoPro story. There are still good people left in the world. Now I have backup GoPros, but that still really hurts to lose an expensive piece of equipment. Um, and then you're down to two GoPros and that would have really sucked. So and he runs like five at a time. I oh, run a ton yeah. and I got batteries and They're cards. Everywhere. That's how that's, I can't believe that I don't drop more stuff. I damage a lot of stuff. I break a lot of film gear. Um, I, yeah. You're sidetracking. We got, well, no. In game here. In game. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're, we're, we're at lunch. We're, going. we're at yeah. lunch. <laughs> we're on lunch day one. Day one, half an hour in. So what are we doing after this, Jack Wagons? Uh, we made it all the way into Twin Falls, Idaho. Right? And that we're at Twin Falls? Yep, yep. Yeah, Twin Falls, Idaho. Had dinner at La Fiesta. We we're staying at a Super 8. Hang on. No, it, was, it used to be Super 8. Now it's a sure stay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And who picked the Super 8? That was Jeff. Jeff. You were yep. just, you were knocking his, bu- busting his balls about it, remember, weren't we? Yeah. You guys chose some shit bag fucking oh, hotels. Yeah, but on the, this the place. Super this 8 nice. had nothing Jesus on the oh, Gallup, New Mexico. <laughs> wait, wait till <laughs> you guys get to later in this podcast and we talk about the <laughs> shit hole we stayed in in Gallup, New Mexico that Rob picked. <laughs> it's only going to get worse. Slept so with my gun in my hand. Don't let a guy who I did. has to pay a shit ton out of, of money for. We won't go into why, <laughs> but who's fucking dropping thousands and thousands of dollars of shit to lately? Make, yeah, lately to make hotel reservations because he's trying to do it on a budget. Oh God, we got some <laughs> stories about that place. Hey, it was fine as a bed and a pillow. If if you're going to a hotel and it's a forty dollar hotel, probably don't want to stay there. <laughs> yeah, no, forty two fifty. Oh, my, oh, my bad. <laughs> no continental. Actually, there was a continental breakfast. You got a waffle. There was, there was also there was two a, waffle irons. There was a dinner smorgasbord down by the pool if you wanted to go. Oh, God. Yeah, dude. We got to talk about oh, we, We're not there yet. We did, okay, okay. Oh, we got some stories about that night. So we're at La Fiesta. La Fiesta. Yeah. Good restaurant. We yeah. don't yeah. have and a lot to say other than, yeah. What's up? Ryan's videoing and the oh, manager yeah, yeah. was there. And so he sent over some shots at the key. Or, what were they? Kahlua and Coke or yeah, something? Yeah. You could tell there wasn't much booze in them, but they're, you know, I mean, ju- that's Three. a good gesture. That's it a was good a good gesture. gesture. I think he saw what Rob's alluding to as he saw me vlogging you were a and YouTube filming guy. he did knew i was a youtube yep. he asked he asked are you a youtuber and i think he wanted some good publicity so i he may or may not make the documentary but yeah. probably the part where we're all taking shots somehow that'll make it yeah <laughs> most likely that's a beautiful ride coming in there twin falls we crossed um mm. and you i know you guys got up the next morning with that uh, hell's canyon and right thanks for in, taking the helm i like this yeah. oh yeah beautiful freaking canyon down below uh riding in that night yeah pretty badass seeing that evil knievel that's where he was going to jump the Hell's Canyon there. And, Did he? Uh, I never got that full story. I don't remember if he actually attempted he, he it. He attempted it. He attempted it. That's right. He Did parachuted he parachute down or something. Oh, it was a yeah. bullshit stunt. It was, right. a bull, it, was a, it was a money stunt, but it was bullshit. Um, <laughs> but he did. He launched off of it. Wasn't going to make it in a million years. I think he made it like, what, a quarter of the way across or something. But anyway, really cool, uh, beautiful, beautiful area. And then, of course, you guys got did, up the next day. What did you day. call it, by the way? Hell's Canyon. It's actually Snake Cross, River Canyon. Snake River. Yeah, I my know. Bad. Yep. No, no, it's, and it's yeah, you wrote it wrong I in did. your show notes. Now, really fucked me. Get this. In and he spelled Cheyenne wrong too. We haven't got to that. Yet, oh, though. there's lots of there's lots of shit in here. <laughs> this is all in the morning when I just type shit or talk into my phone, uh, and that's my bad, Lee. Um, I thought it was. It's not it's Snake River Canyon, and yep, I. Um, you're right. Um, but yeah, nonetheless, they, we have written Hell's gist. Canyon though too. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. We have. If you get to yes. see, yes, Snake River Canyon. I will say, unless you're going to go into the next morning or, you, or you're just going to skip to day two. Day two. Day two. Okay, all right. So day two. We're all uh, good. We're all tired as hell. We just put on, what, 600 and something miles. Yes. And there was not any debauchery going on. We got there and guys were tired. We had some drinks. We had dinner had a couple, drinks. Yep, yep. Dinner drinks. We had, yeah, a couple beers of dinner and we went and we went the fuck to bed. Yep. You're right. You're right. And uh, that was a good decision. We had to pace ourselves on this trip. How are we doing in chat here? I'm just reading real quick. Oh, um, yeah. I'm caught up. Snake. Yep, oh, yeah. We're all good. 
somebody's, oh, Rick, Rick Bernstein is in there. I'm glad I got to see you in there. I'm glad everybody's in there, but I was glad Rick is in here because um, later we're going to talk about Rick and it's going to be four in the morning in his time. Every time yeah. We fucking get to it. You're right, Rick. You might be up late, but we're going to try to keep going. So um, I'll take the helm here real quick, only because I was up earlier than everybody else. Day two. He or, was up for all of us. But well, like, yeah, right. Whatever. Well, he, he, I'm usually on my laptop. Me? He's just working out. I'm on sisters. my laptop. Huh? You went to your sister's. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got up early. Oh, yeah. Why don't you say what you did that morning? Then I'll go with what we did. And I'll um, get a beer while you're doing it. Yeah. All right. Good, good. You yeah, probably don't need get one. Get after it. You probably don't need probably, one. Probably. <laughs> Um, yeah, no. So we we weren't that far away from my sister's house. She lives down in Utah and I knew we had like, I think we, what did we make it? Eight o'clock, uh, kickstands up time or something like that. And so I figured, Hey, get a couple hours, uh, in front of my, in front of the crew there and take off and head down, visit my sister. So I, I bombed out a couple hours early, went down and had some bacon and eggs and hash browns and whatnot with my sister and my nieces and nephews. Which was cool because, you know, when they're that far away, I mean, it's 12 hours probably from my house. So, Bill, you know, I don't see him that much a couple times a year. So, it was, it was fun to get up early and, and kind of have the the day to, or at least the morning to myself. It was nice and cool. And yeah, that's not yeah. a lot of traffic on the road and just be able to lay the hammer down, mm-hmm. make good time getting there. I think we saw you briefly in the morning before you left, didn't we? Me and Jeff, we were in the parking lot. Yeah, I think you guys yeah. were getting ready to go film or something. Yeah. Uh, yeah, somebody was out there. I can't remember. Or Brian was out by the bikes. Right, because Brian, Brian was, was out. Yeah, he was going to go help. I think Brian was the only one that I saw, actually. You guys might have heard me taking off or something. I think but, so. Yeah. Or he saw, yeah, said he saw you. But holy something. shit, freaking uh, Sarge, man. That guy, he's, I'm not rooming with him anymore. If there's, <laughs> if there, we roomed the whole trip, and I'll tell you what, if if it's a kickstands up at eight, he has to be up at six. This is old, be, old people or something. We got to be up two hours before we have to go anywhere. When I room with Rob, who I normally room with, you know, we're up 45 minutes before you throw your shit on, you go throw something down your freaking throat. So, you know, eat a little, eat a little grub, not that type of thing. You don't need, you don't need to comment on well, that. I, I see you getting ready to say it. Rob, <laughs> throw something down your throat. <laughs> and you, uh, you can't say something like that and yeah. not get a response. And off we go. <laughs> I realized what I said when right, I said yeah, it. Yeah, you did. I like, saw you. Shit. You're looking at me. You're shit. looking at me. I'm just waiting to jump on it, dude. Um, so we, uh, yeah. So I got up early to uh, me, Brian. Anyways, I'm just telling you guys, I'm not going to get into a lot, but we went at sunrise Snake River Canyon in the summer. It was the most magnificent. It was probably, and speaking of guys, as we go through, um, you got to say, um, as we get go through, you can't say it yet because at the end, I'm going to ask you, uh, I'm writing. Because one of my highlights was the Snake River. And I know it seems weird because I didn't expect um, that that particular event would uh, w- would do that. I thought it would be something bigger. Um, of course, Patreon Meetup will be one of mine. But uh, we got up early. See it. See it at sunrise. Um, it was really cool. So from the bridges of the Snake River Canyon, if you guys aren't familiar, I wasn't didn't know they did that, but they base jump from there. And there's a shitload of base jumpers out there. And of course I have the drone because I got to get the sunrise shots and wait till you see the documentary film. I pulled some just massively, some of the best footage. It was so amazing. And uh, we got to see that sun come up and just the cool air in the morning before we got started um, and watching those base jumpers and that kind of stuff. And and, uh, again, just getting the drone footage for the documentary film. Absolutely. And I know that, Brian, and I know that uh, Jeff uh, will tell you the same thing. We were all just, uh, Rick was out there too, Rick, uh, big daddy. All right, you guys held hands, looked at the sun come up. We right, did. On to the next thing. We Kumbaya, actually sat and we Lord, cuddled. Kumbaya. I held Rick in my arms uh, until the sun fully came up. But yeah, it was it was amazing. So if you guys get a chance to do that, there's trails down in there. You can park and, and walk down and there's all kinds of lookouts and, and all that kind of stuff. So Twin Falls, Idaho, uh, Snake river canyon a must do mm-hmm. bam we're jumping in right in to day two because we're done screwing around and uh we are on our way do you want to pick it up robbie this is a fairly substantial day we got to lay some miles yes Jesus <laughs> <Christ>. <laughs> so you can't chat and he, he's never been able to chat no. and talk and drink my beer time. i mean i'm all fucked up so anyway Louise. so we get up in the morning and we motor down to uh what was that town we picked up in lee um, just right north of Salt you. Lake. Yeah, yeah, right. There. Okay, so Logan. Logan, Utah. Lo- Ogden. That one. Ogden. I think it was Ogden. 
Anyway, South Weber, actually. South Weber, yes. South, South Weber. Weber. So, yeah. so <laughs> Jesus dumbass. Christ. Jesus. I mean, it was like a third time's a charm. So, anyway, South Weber, we met him at a little <laughs> she moved gas a station. <laughs> she moves a lot. She's actually been at that house for years. <laughs> so, we uh, gas up, and then if you've ever ridden over to Cheyenne from there, it's a little windy and a high speed limit. <laughs> The, 65 or something yeah 70 I we're don't know. at very fast so if you go five over yeah you're cutting through the corners pretty good and yeah. apparently right lee and i got up front and we got a no you're way have, off you're way off you're, you're, a, we're still at uh yeah you picked me up with my sisters yeah there, right after South that Weaver. yeah and we took off right oh, after that we got through those, cor- oh, we got those corners and that. so i yes. must have had a good song on or something yeah, we're side by side yeah 60 62 yeah probably right around that yeah. And, and then next thing you know, we look back and there's no one behind us. <laughs> like, we're what? bouncing, bouncing fender or uh, fairings off of each other though. We were fine. Yeah, we were fine. I don't know what everyone else is doing. But. <laughs> I do remember that's a beautiful area to ride too. Yeah, it was nice. That was. And then we got on 80. Rain. Where'd we hit the rain? Uh, let's oh. see. Uh, little America. We got, that, uh, yeah, we, yeah, we, we bombed down to little America for lunch and somebody weren't they saying that Talk that was on, that um, well, it's kind of weird as shit. A lot shit. of people don't know about weird it. Weird as shit. I never, I didn't know about it. And, uh, somebody was saying it was on some TV show or something like that. So you're driving out in the middle riding, whatever, out in the middle of freaking middle America during shit around for fuck hundred miles. Was that your first time there? First time. I've only been there one other time when, oh, yeah? when me, Jeff and uh, Indian John okay. went to Utah. Yeah. But that's so there ain't only- shit around. I mean, there's no cities. There's no nothing. So they just kind of well, built this thing cities. up out in the middle. There's of- little America. <laughs> America. <laughs> <laughs> so they just built this place up out in the middle of nowhere because otherwise there's nowhere to get gas. There's nowhere to get food. There are no freaking cities along this place. There ain't like you can just drop off a freaking exit and right. go get fuel. So that's the whole purpose of this thing. So anyway, we go in there and um, yeah, we got some fuel and got some lunch. It was a shitty lunch because it was just some trucker yeah, lunch. Thank you for mentioning bad. that. They used to be better. They used to have a full service restaurant there. I'll tell and you that. And a lounge. And, and a lounge. Every, yeah, this was like $6 burger and, or not a sandwich and fries or something. Greasy what? as fuck. That yeah, wasn't that good. Right. Yeah, it was just some greasy ice meal. cream cone though. That was good. Every trucker leaving that damn place. <laughs> Holy shit. They must make a million dollars a year off of fucking ice cream. Oh, no doubt. Every trucker there had an ice cream cone in their little hand. Yep. Was Russell Roberts there? Did he have an ice cream cone? Uh, oh, yeah. We chat, saw, uh, he, he saw he the snowman. He took <laughs> Russell took three to go. <laughs> Sorry, Russell. We got to come on. We got to What's funny is, so we got to bust his balls a little bit here. Okay. If you're going to hang around Who, the lob, me, the lob, the lab media crew, you know, you're going to hang around with us. You're going to catch some shit. Russell's used to it. Yeah, he is now. He's been hanging around with us. If you're going to become friends with us, you may even get a fucking nickname that you don't like. And that's just the way it is. You know, you, you became a patron, but you became a friend too. He comes Correct. up here. And the thing about him is he comes up here, travels up here all the time to see us. And so I nicknamed his ass here, what, last year or something like that? And yep. it stuck. And he didn't like it. <laughs> oh, really? No. Oh, you know what? He I says, come on, you. guys. And on you know the, what? On the, on the group chat. <laughs> Too fucking bad. Because <laughs> he became, he became, became buddies with us. I didn't even know uh, about yeah. his nickname. And he everything. says not as good as it used to be, and he'd know. He's been <laughs> hey, driving truck check for 30 the, years. Check this yeah. shit out. Ross Tom, Tomas says, Coors Light must not have the tariff yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you hang out with us. You might get a nickname that you don't like, but hey, I still love you. And that, hey, guys in the club probably have fucking names they don't, Correct. <laughs> they don't really care for. I didn't even know about this story, dude. Uh, that's hilarious. It was funny. Yeah. Um, okay. So here's the deal. Um, no lounge, no the, beers, no one, cold beers. In the no. place. You got to buy it out of the cooler. You eat in the like yep. a... Yeah, out of the cooler. I think yeah. Even like I say, Russ says, and "God you know, damn!" I got to tell you that I am amazed the 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 motoring truckers in this country. They are some stellar shaped sons of bitches. Jeez, mm, Louise, dude, God. <laughs> did you quit generalizing, dude? Not all of them. Oh Some of them are fine. I've got family. I got a couple uncles and that are, uh, that are long haulers, and they do pretty good. But yeah, yeah. for the most part, snowman. guys walking out of there. His name, nickname, snowman. They're all asking what his nickname is. The snowman. Uh, why didn't I hear about He's this? Eastbound down, loading up and trucking. We gonna do what they say can be done. Oh my god, dude! <laughs> you know what show that's from, Ryan? No. Are you kidding me? I don't. I got a long way to go. Well, you want me to say yes? Time to get there. I'm eastbound. Just, I'm eastbound. He just likes to, Burt Reynolds. Yeah, Burt Reynolds. <laughs> just to watch old bandit run. Um, no, what shows it from? Smokey and the Bandit. Oh, okay, I, I, yeah, never. Snowman's a semi truck driver. Yeah, never really. Jerry watched Reed. The show. He's got his like trucker hat on. Yep, Jerry Reed. He's the one who sang that song too. So, 
Popeye. What? Um, we're so skipping, man loves it. We're skipping over um, a little uh, a little incident that happened at Little America. We're skipping. Is that where I fell off? We're of skipping the- over a little incident. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot now, about it. It's that. purposely not in the show notes because I don't want you to skip around it. So it's oh like, yeah, when I was riding Dino. <laughs> oh my God! Now is that the one? Rick was even better. Oh fuck yeah, Rick, Rick was, was worse. So there is a, uh, uh, I don't know. Do you want to tell a story, Robbie? So there's a, oh plaster or plastic or something dinosaur metal sculpture. You yeah, big some bitch. Yeah, he's probably six feet high. Well, I mean five feet. Just Jesus looked like Christ, six next to Lee. <laughs> <laughs> so Lee jumps on it like he's riding it. And then Rick. He gets his running start and throws himself at the thing like he's going to trying to sit on this. Like he's going to throw his leg over it and he just like fucking sticks to the side of it, <laughs> fucking falls off. <laughs> then he gets another running start. Wham! Runs into it again. He's <laughs> all for a photo because yeah, he wanted a photo break on this thing. Fucking thing! You need to stop. We're so. going to get kicked out of yeah. Little America, dude. Rick never did get his picture. He did. He got up on that thing eventually, dude. He got up on it. So Popeye decides he. he well, actually, Popeye was busting. Um, busting Rick's balls that he couldn't get up on it. So Popeye had no problem getting on it. <laughs> where, okay. So we got, and of course I'm filming this whole thing, which is just, uh, just a, just a blast to, uh, I knew that would make a <laughs> that, that might make it, it somehow. I don't know. It'll get a lot of clicks on that. Maybe that'll be the thumbnail. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 the opening, that'll be the opening <laughs> thumbnail, oh, yeah. bro. Um, so Popeye gets on it. No problem. I was like, that's pretty impressive. Cause he just busted Rick's balls rightfully. So you want to make sure you do it right to really put him in his place and, uh, no, getting off is where Popeye failed. And I did not see it coming, but he swung a leg over the dinosaur dude. Next thing I know, he went down like a sack of shit, dude, oh, just yeah. straight up on the ground. And I'm like, what in the hell? I'm like, it wasn't happened. a quad after that thing <laughs> eating out of a fucking straw. And you guys had me strung <laughs> over the back of a motorcycle for the rest of the trip. <laughs> break my neck <laughs> just lay here don't move <laughs> oh my god dude don't worry the nearest medical care is 240 miles away <laughs> yeah little, yeah dude they can't even uh, make a sandwich i wouldn't expect they had medical attention at no. little america dude <laughs> no. but good laugh dude we had a ball there um doing that kind of stuff but yeah if you do stop there just understand uh that's the last i'll say about little america um yeah, don't expect good just food. Just fuel up it and just drive right on through. Fuel up and motor on. It's hard hard on a motorcycle, though. I mean, shit, we had to stop. We, we, we wouldn't have made it, I don't think, if we hadn't stopped there. They do have a convenience store. You can snack up and stuff, stuff no. like that. But yeah, it would have been nice to have a beer at the lounge or something. But Oh, yeah. All right. Let's keep moving along. All right. Mm. Coming up to so Cheyenne. Cheyenne. I-80 is Cheyenne, why, why? pretty boring. It was. Yeah. Straight. Am I remembering it right? Yeah. Straight. Nothing. Yeah. But I, you know, I like the scenery, you know, I like kind of the rolling plains and stuff like that. If you can call them plains, but I mean, I don't right, mind Good for it. you. Oh, geez. I'm going to bring it right. Well, it was better than Nebraska. If we need to bring this up. I like all that area, man. I'll tell you what. It's, I love getting out, seeing America like that, middle America. Yeah, that's and it's great. So there's no turn for 300 fucking miles. See, that's what I was thinking. Look from yeah, three to four. Not. Look, go from but three cool to four country. on there. It's a cool country, though. Oh, okay. shit out there, but yeah, it's all, you know, it's, it's uh, you got farming going on and all kinds of cool shit. Three to four. Oh, yeah. We're looking at Ride Planner. If there you guys w- don't know what There we're wasn't any at. whiffy for fucking Ryan. That's probably why he didn't like it. Oh, yeah, it was on 3G part of the time. Didn't even yeah. know that still existed. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't. Why would you even have 3G? You, that's right. You were, we were in, in, in Little America and, and you were like, what the fuck? We're, got, we're on 3G. I was like, why would hey, can yeah. you just bring up the deal? What the fuck Dude, are you doing? This is Ride Planner. This is Ride Planner. One okay, of the right issues. there. Now, don't mess with it. Well, I can't zoom in or anything. No, I was just you use the in. plus See? and negative down in the corner. Yeah. Jesus Christ. That's what that's there for. Fucking debauchery going on. Yeah, I thought you were a high tech redneck. I am. It's not working like it's supposed to, dude. You're supposed to be running. You're not working like it's supposed to. There you go. Oh, look. Like I told you, that's where now it's working. Oh, look at this. Why is this zooming? Use the plus. Why is this zooming? You're using the plus. You're an idiot. Because I'm using the mouse. That's why. You're not using the mouse. Oh, I am right here. I'm moving around. That's not zooming. That's, that's dragging, dragging back to point one. And this is the, one of the the uh, interesting. Okay, back to the deal. We're never going to get done. You're a mess. <laughs> you don't even know what you're doing, dude. All right. This is a, we'll just leave that there. But yeah, I-80, straight up, dude. That was, uh, that was. Not just, a lot out there. Just fucking laying down miles, dude. Yep. All right. So here's some. Every of, day that we're out on the road for the most part. This we're 600 trip. plus miles. This trip mm-hmm. we were. Yeah. We're yeah. laying down the miles on this. Did one. we say what today was? How many miles? At 617. 617, nine hour saddle yeah. time. So you're looking at a 
you know, with a lunch 12 hour break, day. you're looking at a 12 hour day. Yeah. Yeah. Lunch, fuck offs at fuel ups and shit. I mean, and we're riding tank to tank on a lot of them. Yeah, we are. And Correct. You still, you get to where you're going at the, you know, the, the, the first fill up or two, they're pretty quick. <laughs> you know, right. the last couple fill ups. Everyone's like, oh, I'm going to take like, an extra five shit, minutes. I'm tired. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Where are we at here? We're outside. 20 of, uh, miles outside. 20 miles outside. Cheyenne. Cheyenne, Wyoming. Yeah. Cheyenne. On a service road. Really went to shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was bad. Pretty sure uh, LD went down. Yep. No, he did some go point down. But before that. Over. But before that. <laughs> yeah. So I just want to skip right oh, to yeah, that. Yeah, uh, yeah. Chatter. Which is in, no big deal. Yeah. He's going to look at the chat. I don't know. He, he can't hear if he's listening to the chat. Then he didn't have to hear what the hell's going Correct. on. Yeah. So fuck you guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, anyway, I'm up front and Hank LD's up front with me. You are. And about yep. 95% of the time we're in the front. But look. Uh, Still haven't gotten in trouble yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> only once, only once a trip or twice a trip. But anyway, so <laughs> you both got your asses chewed. Yeah. And so all of a sudden I see Ryan come sneaking up on me and, and I can tell something's fucking going on. I don't know what the hell he wants. It wasn't the normal filming coming up. on No, it wasn't. Yeah, yet. it was. Yeah. Cause he'll come up and he'll be right on my ass, you know, and I can tell he's filming, but on this one, yeah, he was definitely, he needed something, something, that, something was going on. So, uh, he starts like kind of pointing to the side and we're in construction. I mean, that's the thing. It's heavy traffic. They've got traffic diverted and it's kind of one way each way, but it's a, it's supposed to be a four lane highway and we're down to two. Right. Yeah. So we take some stupid service road as an exit. Cause I could tell you needed to get, I could tell something was going on with your bike. So we pull off and anyway, long story short, his shifters all fucked up and his shifter is sitting on his floorboard. And he went to what downshift and it just basically went to the floor. Right. So the spline kind of stripped out, of the freaking shifter. And we're about 20 miles away from the hotel. Now it's like, well, now I don't know what the fuck we're going to do. I know. And, uh, we pulled, I, uh, well, I guess I, I think I took the lead cause I, I told you I was going to take an exit or something. The next exit. Mm-hmm. Cause I, I had it in gear. Um, and I had it on a higher gear. So I knew that I could, you know, at least I could tell that just by listening to the exhaust. Too. Yeah. At least get it to an exit. And, uh, before I tell you what happened right there, I do want to thank cause it came up in chat. Um, we are very blessed guys. Um, and Popeye had mentioned it. This is the first time Popeye's actually been in and seen in person, the new studio. And I have it more set up here, but, um, we were talking how last year at this time, what's this have to do with the trip? Exactly. I'm just curious. It's in chat. So oh, that's why oh. we talk. So you, you chat back is how that works. Correct. That's how chat works. So you chat. Yeah. Back. You don't verbally answer. Yeah. No, you do verbally answer. That's why people are chatting. So, um, but we want to tell you guys, um, yeah, we are very blessed. And Popeye had mentioned, you know, uh, as we we're getting ready here that last year at this time, you know, we would have been in a, a room after two hours of podcasting. It would have been 90 degrees because we didn't have AC and uh, it was a sweatshop. We were literally wet when we got done. So it, Popeye, that's the first thing he said when he came in here. He was like, wow, like it's and it right Way now nicer. the AC is rolling and uh, we got everything we need as far as, you know, uh, cameras and equipment and everything. So um, you guys all help make that possible. Uh, you patrons and you people mm-hmm, that uh, take care of us. There you go. Mm-hmm. Ross Tomes was in there saying that uh, must be pretty cool because Rob still got his vest on. So, oh yeah, yeah. Was, it, well, and it's thirty well, degrees cooler yeah. today than it was two holding, days ago. Holding right. up our cuts because most of these guys, well, unless they get on the pages, they know what our cuts look like. But yeah, when yeah. We, if you know if we've ridden with a lab crew, that we don't wear our cuts with them. True, true. Yeah, good call. Good call. Um, so anyways, yeah, thanks guys, uh, for making that comment. I just want to tell you guys that, uh, yep, yep. We're, we're very blessed and uh, humbled by that. So we pull off a service road, let's pull off a service road. Now, um, it's super windy. You remember that? It was just yeah, it was windy. windy. Yeah, it was windy. Yep. Now. That's what I remember from recollection about that day and pulling off there. Nonetheless, um, basically what it is, guys, we've talked about it before. Um, we're going to do a video on it, even though I have it fixed, um, I am going to, we're going to do it on Lurch's bike and show you guys kind of how to get ahead of this problem. But some of you have talked about it, about it in the private Facebook group and it's the shifter splines. It's not the front ones where your gear shifter goes, um, on the end of the spline out by your floorboard. It's actually the inside inside. And Jonathan Holan, who's a patron member did a quick or not a quick, but a video on when he was re- replacing his, he has a YouTube video and it's actually done fairly well on replacing that, but it's the inner splines. There's nothing you can do about it. It is a problem Hardy's, they don't want to admit that they're aware of on especially 14s, 13s, 14s, 15s, stuff like that. 
there's nothing you can do. Even if it's tight, it just works the splines back there and there's no warning when it's going to go. And I had heard about it and with all the videos and as busy as we are around here, I never got around to doing it. I just kind of winged it and well, that didn't get me very far. So there is no, like you would think it would be like get a little bit of play at first, you know, or just Gandhi, just done. You're just going to shift and it's just going to, it's going to, it's going to slip a spline and strip them out. And because it's been stripping them all along, um, working those and you're not done. the good kind of stripper, not the good kind of stripper. No. So I figured that's what it was. We were able to make a few minor adjustments. Of course, I'll, I'll run a quick, uh, promo for us, but we had the, uh, RTH three by cruise tools toolkit sold in the law abiding biker store, of course. And we were able to make a few adjustments. That's no bullshit. That is no bullshit. We pulled that thing out and everybody has the cruise tools, RTH three. And I don't, you don't, well, you need one. Me either. You should give them to me. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I might give you one. <laughs> me too. If you Christmas guys, or something. if you guys make it through this without uh, prolonging it six hours, I guess we're not getting them. <laughs> <laughs> you were fucked. <laughs> no doubt, dude. Ryan said that because he knows it ain't gonna fucking happen. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. Uh, I could have offered you anything. It's not gonna happen because you two. Yeah. Give you a million dollars to see six hours. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, dude, not going to happen. All right, um, we're done. Well, let's play the outro music. We're done. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we uh, um, made a few tweaks. I thought it was going to hold. I took up front. Anyways, nonetheless, um, the only way I could shift um, was with my hand um, because I'd have to reach down and mess around with it. And anyways. Oh, okay, hang on. <laughs> that, that thing at the top right there, what you better say? not say that or you're going to really piss somebody <laughs> off, dude. <laughs> Oh, well, you got to say it now. It's in the notes. Oh, Just we'll come up with something else. Cause shit, dude, he's gonna, he might suck start his pistol if you say that. Oh my God, dude. That was an ongoing joke. Oh, oh yeah. We, we may reveal that here in a second. Um, yeah. So are we, anyways, I limped it back to the hotel, which, where do we end up on this day, guys? Uh, let's see. We end Sh- up. Uh, Cheyenne. Per- Cheyenne. Cheyenne, Wyoming. Yeah. Yep. To you, Sh- yeah. Right. Right. 20 you, miles uh, outside Cheyenne. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he yep. will limp it on down. And then the thing was, is that shit, the dealer was what, two miles away from the freaking hotel? Closed. I'll, I'll tell you that. Well, yeah, it was closed. But yes, yeah, but it well, was. Yeah. But it was two. Yeah, and that, that fucked us the next day. Correct. Because we we got out of there, what, 10, 11 o'clock? Yep. Hey, hey when you're doing, two, you know, 600 miles a day, shit, not like you need to leave early or anything. Right. But I'll, t- I'll tell you this. <laughs> Ryan is a phenomenal rider. He was able to reach over <laughs> his right shit. hand operate his clutch, reach down with his left hand and shift his bike on the way to the dealer. It was truly shit. Like, totally still have shifting. a thumb in his ass. And, oh yeah. Right. And, was sitting on a dildo, but he could totally <laughs> reach over and, and shift Give that bike. Reach around. Oh, oh my yeah. God. Dude. We're done. We get the chat up. There'll be some good stuff off that. Oh yeah. So <laughs> this is why we're not allowed to. Correct. chat together exactly why neither of you are getting a cruise tools kit <laughs> 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 but um i did we lifted back to the hotel to make a long story short with that because i do want to talk about some other stuff um the next morning the uh i was able to get it in neutral because my neutral switches out on my bike which is a common problem that's right i'm not gonna, gonna get it started because i couldn't get it in neutral but i finally did we got it started and i was able to shift with my hand suicide shift um through town following rob early in the morning and we'll get to that um, in a little bit and get it to the dealership. Um, it's not, that's one of those things we had to, I'll just, I will just sum that up right now because otherwise we're gonna have to handle it in a second. That's one of those things. Yeah. I could have bought the parts and I could have fixed it in the parking lot, but when we're cranking for time, it was one of those deals where, um, it was under warranty, uh, on my bike. So because it's under warranty, and it's a warranty item. I was like, just have the dealership do it. They're going to do it really quick. And it's only $50 deductible for me is what it ended up being. And I was like, that, that's parts and everything. And they had the parts in. I was so lucky. I did not think they were going to have the parts in and they would have had to run to another dealership an hour away and bring them back and all this stuff. And we were still, like Lee said, the next day, which we'll get to here in a minute, we were still out um, very late. Uh, later than we would have liked to be for a very long day. So that's what I ended up doing is just having the dealership. Um, I do want to say uh, that dealership in in uh, uh, Cheyenne, I think I have the name of it, High Country. Um, yeah, or you're skipping I am, ahead. You're that's all because we won't have to cover this when we go to the day. So High Country HD, good service, took care of me, $50 deductible. On and that, we're guys. dragging this thing fucking out. Oh, yeah, that's what we do. That's what yeah, we're good They did for. a good job. They, they did a good job. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Took care of us yep. and uh, hung out in there for quite a few hours. Uh, but we'll, we'll, uh, that we won't have to cover that on day two, but that I did get it fixed. 
And that was the first mechanical issue. And again, uh, we'll do a video on it. If you guys are out there with those bikes, just be aware of it. You might want to just carry those parts with you because it's going to happen. Um, it's going to happen to your bike. And that way you are prepared for those long trips. All right. Why don't you talk about um, once we, uh, what, do you remember how, what hotel that was? It was a Best Western. Best Western. That's actually well, a pretty nice hotel. From where Ryan, right here. From where Ryan's spline screwed up to the hotel, my bike switched over to weather band. On its, oh, on its own, right. and it said that there was golf oh. ball size hail and a heavy hail warning or something, and I thought, oh, shit, and so when we got to the hotel, they said, yeah, that came through here five minutes ago. We were that far behind it, but they did let us pile all our bikes under their small awning. They did. Yep. Mm -hmm. Took care of us. Absolutely. And there was a whole bunch of other uh, cross-country riders, too, with different type of bikes um, parked under there, too, so who else? Mm -hmm. Who met us? That's where oh, yeah. B Rad met us from Be California. Real. Be real. Mm -hmm. From uh, the California crew. He rode with his fiance and they took a pretty good trip up to Denver and he put her on a plane and sent her home. And then he met us in Cheyenne. He was waiting for us when we got there. Yep. That was pretty cool. Brad had a little mechanical debacle. Why don't you talk about I'm just <laughs> Jeez, I don't just care. poking the bear. <laughs> go ahead. Go the ahead. Bear. <laughs> go ahead, Ryan. I'm ho I'm hoping they're listening, bro, because uh, we gotta we got so we're, well, we're it, it causes uh we're gonna be it causes not, front fucking we're, um we're not wheel gonna, bearings to go out too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we're not gonna mention this name right here. We're gonna say Yeah, we're not an undisclosed individual, a friend of Brad's. <laughs> um and we're just busting his balls. We don't really know what happened. But Brad, uh, what was the deal with him? Uh, he was making sounds, right? His primary was making sounds? Yeah. 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 Making some sounds coming up through Colorado. Okay. Uh, so he went to a dealership. He went to the same dealership I went to, right? No, no, no. Oh, he, he went to one in Col Colorado. Oh, or something. It, it, I think the, was it the one in Durango? Yeah, you're right. I think that's the one he had to stop at. I think it was. I guess he rode the, the million dollar highway with his yeah. old lady, didn't he? Yep. Yeah, you're I think right. So, yep. so, he, so yeah, they he uh, stopped in there getting some fucking noise coming from the primary. And, and he's got a 16 or 17. 17. 17. Yeah. Yeah. He, yeah. So they, they got a uh, lot of miles on it. Went out yep. and checked it out and came back and said, uh, who changes your oil? <laughs> he goes, <laughs> oh, buddy of mine. <laughs> they said, well, you got about two quarts in your, or no, no oil in your primary. Yeah. He goes, you're, you're, uh, yeah. What was the deal? It's primary. You're low. You're it's basically low. It, really low. it takes a quarter yeah, low. And you only have about half of the oil you need in there, yeah. basically. And so they ended up topping him off and he was good to go, but no damage. And luckily, no damage because I guess it got said it could have burned it up and hot. Yeah. yeah. So make sure, of, of course, if you're doing your services and we're sure not, to watch a law abiding biker, how to change your oil have. forward slash, you know, oil change video. And we're just busting <laughs> the other guy's balls if he's watching. We love you, buddy. Uh, we just had to bring it up because it was another uh, little bit of, of a debacle. So, all right. So, Uber time because everybody is ready. It's been a long day and uh, everybody wants to go to dinner. And so, with that many of us, we had to Old order multiple T Ubers. T-Joe's. T-Joe's. Let's talk about it. T and Wyoming. They, yeah, they had a good steak, though. They did oh. have good steak. So, it's kind of funny. I mean, we've had, well, okay. You go to freaking Cheyenne t -Joe's. It was good food. It was good food. It was good music. It was our type of place. Yep. But yeah, we decided we're going to freaking Uber down there because guys are going to have some cocktails and whatnot. And we already know that at a time. And we didn't even need to because everybody only had by two drinks. And right. Like, Shit, you're, f you're well under. But uh, anyway, being, doing the safe thing. And we Uber down there and uh, go in there. And like I said, you picture freaking a Cheyenne, Wyoming. And we're not in the city. We're outside of the city, out in the country of Cheyenne. You want to picture a place in your head? That's what this place was. Yep. I mean, it's, you know, wood freaking floors and line dancing type of place and all wood furniture and shit. And it was cooler and all. I liked it a lot. <laughs> but um, go down there. Yeah. Good food and stuff. Um, we go in there and uh, everybody's smoking. Remember that? Yep. Oh, yep. yeah. They only outlawed that here that. 20 years ago. Correct. And we are. Yeah, that does not happen here. But everybody was smoking inside. And I hate that. I yeah. hate that. I, 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 Especially when you're not used to it anymore. Right. And I like to throw cards, um, uh, you know, like gambling and shit like mm -hmm. that. And the one thing that fucking drives me nuts is going to like Indian casinos is because they allow smoking still. And mm -hmm. God, it just, yep. if I'm freaking, if I'm having a couple drinks and that smoke it and just dinner kills. Yeah. But it just kills me the next day. Yep. 
He's just, you know, having that smoke. But so it's just it's something weird. It's just kind of funny to have, you know, people smoking inside of there. I will tell you that steak, I'm just telling you guys, if you go to Cheyenne and I don't talk about every restaurant that way, that steak was they absolutely do an amazing steak. They do. So good. if you're riding it was through, great. I think mm-hmm. everybody here, there you go, you heard it right here. Hit up T Joe's. We aren't affiliated, but absolutely you will have a wonderful meal and a wonderfully done steak. And when you ask it for medium or whatever you like it, it is done to perfection. And I know Rick, uh, Big Daddy, talked big about that place too. He really enjoyed that steak. And, and So uh, Russell, I think it's at a truck stop. Just uh, what, what are you talking about? T. Joe's, just east of town. Yeah, look, yeah, I'm not going to look it up right now, but if but, you do, Russell, find out, Google it, uh, Google Maps or something, T. Joe's. Um, amazing. You got to go there. Uh, we weren't expecting that. I don't think I really was like, ah, oh, this sounds all right. You know, but we Ubered it there, Ubered it back. Cool place. Um, yeah, there you go. But one Uber in the whole town. What is this? And they had to shuttle us. They had to, sh- you're right. We had multiple Ubers, multiple Ubers. And, uh, let's see. Oh, mile high. That's what I meant. Cause mile high. That's what I was talking about. Um, no. Mile you high, went to high HD, country. I did, but mile high is, uh, there's also mile high, which is 35 miles away. We yeah. were only two miles from high country. Right. So I threw that in there. That was the only other dealership. Um, that's out of Aurora, Wyoming. So I was just talking about, you know, which dealership I was going to hit in the morning, basically. And of course I picked high country because it was two miles, hoping that they would have the parts. So with that said, we're actually doing good. We're doing really, really good. We're going to do this real quick. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Anybody want to do it? What are we doing? Rick Rack. Rick Rack Midroll. Are you searching for the easiest and quickest detachable Talking luggage that, system? Mike. Let me start over. Thank you. Are you looked are you searching for the easiest and quickest detachable luggage system for your motorcycle? Rick Rack has just what you are looking for. Forget all those frustrating straps and bungee cords that can come loose and slap your paint. Rick Rack. Check out one of Rick Rack's awesome quick attach strapless luggage rack systems. This father and son team's designed something really special that you can't find anywhere else. Yep, these guys ride so truly understand the needs of bikers. The Rick Rack quick attach system is strong, durable, and secure with a lockable system. Also, Check out their full line of quality touring bags to accompany your quick detach system. Once you use Rick Rack, you'll never go back. Rick Rack! What are you waiting for, bikeaholics? Head over to the Law Abiding Biker Store and check out our full line of Rick Rack systems and bags. Nicely done, Popeye. That makes up for the gay joke earlier. <laughs> 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 he, he had to make it up to him. <laughs> That's why I wanted to read it. I told you. All right, let's just pick right back up, and we're actually doing good. Day three, and and uh, and and then we'll move on. So, so they fixed the shifter in the morning. We covered yep. that. Limped to the dealership. Ryan and I rode over there. Today was a four hundred. Today was four eighty eight. It was a shorter day for us. It was going to be six hours and forty five minutes saddle time. This is unbelievably one of our shorter days. <laughs> yeah. So Ryan had uh, he bought a sign, had it shipped home, warranty, fifty dollar deductible ate at Max's Diner at a truck stop. It was a cool place. Signs everywhere, 50s mm-hmm. type diner, but no Where was beer. that, though? Uh, middle of nowhere, Nebraska. Yeah. Okay, all right. That's right. where I was out having a beer underneath the tree. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. And then the motorhome with a pee bar. <laughs> yeah. With what? <laughs> there, there was this motorhome, and there was no bathroom out there because the... So we went out behind the motorhome in the oh, bushes. Nice. Remember, but, remember they had the uh, they had like a barbecue place that we were going to go to, but the barbecue place close. was closed. Yep. yep. Permanently. Yep. So we rolled. That's all- a truck stop too, right? Yeah. I it seemed like I, a truck stop. I think it was, it was a attached, town and was, a truck stop in yeah. the whole, like a two horse town. And they had a lot of stuff. So mm-hmm. yeah. there you go. That's all right. Mm-hmm. Yep. Snowman's um, probably been there. Oh, yeah, I lots bet of times. Snowman. Yeah. Is that the one he doesn't want you to call him? Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right. <laughs> Sorry, Russell. <laughs> Is that the one he doesn't want you to call him? Um, he loves it. <laughs> so then we got to Papillion. We stayed at the Fairfield Inn. It was a nice place recommended by. Why do we choose Papillion out of. Mm hmm. We chose Papillion because that's where the patron meeting. Well, hell coming. yeah! But R- good answer. Rick Bernstein recommended uh, that we stay there at the Fairfield Inn. So we ate dinner at Brownies. We had that was a nice place. Uber over there. Yeah, it wasn't bad. And the College World Series was on. Why am I having a uh, worst blank ste- on Brownies? Oh, was that where we sat on the back patio? Yeah, it says you. Ha- it says worst steak I ever had. Steak. S T A K E. Did you puke all over this nice place? <laughs> no, not this one. Oh. Not, not this year. You know I, what it means. Before. You know what it means. Yeah, Th- uh, these are notes while I'm talking into my phone. Jack you're an idiot. Okay, so cool patio area, you but apparently the notes? worst steak he's ever had. It was. Oh, my God. 
So we Ubered back to the Fairfield and drank at Jersey's. Hang on. You're just going way too quick. Oh, fuck. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so okay. I'm, dinner trying, at, I'm trying to catch up where the hell you. we're at. Dinner at Brownies. Yeah. We Uber rode. Now, by this time, uh, we had met up, didn't we? That was up? another dumb Uber ride. We spent more money on Ubers on this trip. We did. For stupid reasons. Correct. Because we yeah. thought we were going to. We thought it'd be a good place to go to sit down. But right. We can go there. You have a beer with dinner and you can ride home. Yep. And Papillion, Nebraska, I'm just off the top of my head. Isn't that like basically outside Just outside of Omaha. Omaha. Okay. Yep. It's like a suburb of Expensive Omaha. Expensive as fuck at the time that we went because of oh. the College World Series going on. Yep. And so everything was jacked up for their prices. Yep. And everything within you know a million miles of this uh, freaking town was booked. Yep. And then remember the, the, the uh, hotel that we were at was booked solid with little uh, little leaguers or yep. whatever the hell that right. they were with hot little moms running around. Some milk. Yeah, because the- Holy shit. There was during the milks. College World Series, there's like a Little League World Series or some shit. Right. With and hot we, moms. Right, yeah. With, with milks. <laughs> and we knew this leading up. Um, but I, real quick about brownies. Uh, by this time, we had met up. I mean, I completely skipped this in my notes, but we had met up with uh, the boys. Yeah, we did. We met. So talk the about Tennessee this a little guys. bit, Rob. Yeah, te- who, what's the Tennessee guys? All right. So the the steak uh, sucked the, at Brownies. Don't ever eat a steak there. Go ahead. Okay, you're an idiot. Anyway, um, <laughs> so the motorcycle club, the Sworn Few, is what we are, and so we do a trip every year, guys' trip. Well, Ryan started Lab Media, and so we incorporate a patron day uh, for Lab Media. So, but we only allow that one day because this is a time to ride with our the motorcycle club. So we, we have, uh, I guess, authorized Ryan to set up a day so that he could meet the uh, people that pay to be patrons. So and you guys too, right? Yeah. We just set a day. Yeah. We set one day aside and that's it. So we were going to ride Utah and then we had a chapter request from some guys in Bristol, Tennessee, and they got serious and then they wanted to meet us. So they actually, we changed our route, our plans from that's Utah. Right. Thank you. See, I knew you. And that's what this. changed the whole trip to go out to Omaha. That's right. Was to meet these guys. So yeah. we met the Tennessee guys were at the hotel waiting for us when we got there. Yep. Three of the tennis, three of the five, three of the five, three yep. of the five Tennessee guys were there. Chill Howie. <laughs> Chill Howie. <laughs> and some of you that, um, you got to meet some of those guys. Gold mine. <laughs> oh yeah. Flying them out to Vegas. <laughs> 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 and so you guys some of you guys got to meet them and uh it was a super cool club deal for us guys um and they are in the process right now um you know becoming a full chapter so it was really cool to meet those guys so like i told you this trip had multiple purposes and meanings and meeting different people and that kind of stuff but we want to let you uh in, in a little bit inside on that so um we had met up they did go to uh brownies or whatever it was called right mm-hmm yeah. Yeah. Brownies. Yeah. Something like that. Yep. It was, it, it was all right. Okay. So back to the Fairfield. Worst meat Ryan's ever had. It was the worst meat I've ever had. And he's it, had a lot of meat. It was horrible. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> horrible. Uh, th- now we went to Jersey's next door, right? This yeah. turned into a. Oh, next door to the hotel. Show. Oh yeah. Now Brownies. I don't know again why we Ubered to Brownies because nothing happened there. But but jerseys you could, was as a walking distance. <laughs> I forgot about the fucking. Oh yeah, dude, so go ahead and tell tell the story. Tell uh, what happened so in Jersey. Yeah, this so, is Scott too. Remember Scott's licking. Oh, okay, scooters. So see, oh, is yeah, it coming yeah. back? So yeah, 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 that oh, was yeah, yeah. Bad. So we're at jerseys and they bring out. Well, first of all, so Sarge, <laughs> <laughs> Sarge, show. Sarge takes off for a second and he comes back and with the waitress and there is a. Fucking <laughs> took off with the full. waitress or just came back with her? <laughs> <laughs> One or the other. Maybe both. But comes back with a freaking tray of tequila shots. And it's funnier than hell because he's he's looking at me. God damn it. Who the hell ordered all these fucking things? Shit, who did this? And he's passing them out to everybody, you know, and it's obvious that he's the one who freaking got all the freaking tequila shots for everybody, right? But he uh, right. Acts, acts like he's all pissed off about it. So after all the shots are are passed around, who? what was the bet? No, Rick says I'm never drinking. No, I don't drink no, no, tequila. No, no, no. So yeah, then he, we uh, talked him into drinking. But, uh, no, so then I'm there was some scooter. some spilled on the tray because the whole tray they brought him on. Somebody bet scooter though to drink what was left on the tray. Right. No, he told him he give him five bucks. Go. It was a five bucks. That's Brian. Yeah, that's, that was it. So he picked up the Brian, tray. Brian does it all the time, and he drank the spilled booze. <laughs> five dollars, and then they go, "That's not good enough." Lick the tray, and he, <laughs> he like, took that some bitch and licked the whole thing. <laughs> oh yeah. Remember what the fuck? I don't think dude. I don't remember when it happened, but he also did 
he he did the five dollar challenge on the front of his fairing. Remember oh, that? oh, the bugs! I don't know yeah. what happens. Let us yeah, talk so about. We it. Came in, yeah, I don't the remember what day that was. For five bucks. Oh yeah, somebody oh. offered him five bucks or something. And our but our I got a bunch of jobs during the trip. <laughs> <laughs> you too. <laughs> I thought that was a secret. Yeah, he said oh. I was the only one. Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so the fairing is just covered in fucking bugs. Yeah. And somebody <laughs> offers him $5 to lick the fairing. That and was, he does from top to freaking bottom, like licking a big old taint yeah. or something. He didn't I try mean, to, just from he didn't try to, to get bottom. out of it. Oh, yeah. No. That was at the gas stop right before we got to Papillion. Thank you. Cause I thought yeah. we had skipped it. I didn't put it in my notes. I, yeah. yeah. He licked that fairing. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. It was so <laughs> just covered in bugs. bloody bugs. Oh, and you know, fuck. here's the deal. If somebody was going to give me, give me five bucks to do that, I would have been like, you know, I'd try to get out of it a little bit. Like I just lick it really quick, but he did the whole like oh, kiss for, tongue yeah, dude from the bottom from, of his fairing, whole from thing. the Ruta to the tuna. Mm-hmm. Didn't miss anything in between. Dude. No. <laughs> and, he, oh, and, and goat does that with him, dude. That's what's so funny. Goat, goat does that to him. Brian, uh, white guys who helps run the law-abiding biker stores who we're talking about when we say goat, but um, you guys talk to him down there in the store. But he eggs that guy on. Well, he's like Justin. And, he, and, and, yeah. and the, it was proven in Texas. <laughs> I bet you can't eat that like oh, a 10 yeah. pound steak or whatever. Right. Oh, well, fuck, I can't. That's <laughs> right. Dude. Okay, fucker, go for it. <laughs> oh, my God, yeah, dude. That was pretty good. So, talk about now that everybody's had shots and he's licked the tray, what happened with uh, Big Daddy's? He, Big Daddy had a camera. Left it. This was a deal. new camera. He, he did bought have, before. He have yeah, a you're camera, right, which he lost eventually. Shit, imagine if I lost it like day three. I right have pictures of your dick on it. <laughs> oh, see whose camera there. this is. What the fuck? So, yeah. so some, he leaves. Big Daddy leaves his freaking camera laying around. And bad news around these people. Yeah, you don't want to do that. So Ryan gets hold of it. And who'd you sneak off to the bathroom? Because <laughs> it wasn't you solo. It was not me solo. No. It was my wiener taking a leak solo. <laughs> it was, it was, it was in fact my wiener in the urinal. Were you guys touching the tips or something, crossing <laughs> the swords or what? Who was egging me on on that? I don't I, I know I was once you got your, I knew you guys yeah. had the camera. And then we were taking pictures. I don't do shit like that normally. Right. Yeah, do. right. We were taking pictures of our arm. I was having somebody do this, you know, where you take a close up and you can't even tell what it is. It just looks like a nasty vagina or something, dude, yeah. where you crease your arm. And yeah, I'm trying to think who was in on that. I actually didn't steal it. Somebody else uh, had me help them do that. But anyways, yeah, somebody was in on it. And anyway, yeah. So it. he's in the freaking camera taking dick pics and shit with his camera. <laughs> there was butt pics, dude. <laughs> Uh, Brad, Brad from California, uh, dude, it was his butt crack. Yeah. He pulled, he pulled his trowel all the way down. It was nothing but his butt, dude. We're, we're so we come back and, back and the camera's sitting on the table and BDK's camera's sitting there and he kind of starts looking through pictures and like, what the fuck is this? Dude. And of course, in true BD Kane style, he had to go through and delete every picture individually because it just oh, was yeah. killing him, dude. Killing him to do that. All right. So we had a hell of a night. That was a that was a shit show. Well, remember the one dumb shit sh- that came up and put Chill Howie in a freaking headlock? I was gone. Oh by yeah, then, that dude. Was, yeah, you, yeah. Okay, well we can tell that story. Chill Howie. Who is yeah. Chill Howie? Just one of the ghosts. Guys you could say yeah, in I, Tennessee. I know who it is, but the yeah. ghost. The the yeah. The, the dude comes up freaking. <clears throat> I mean, just kind of out of nowhere, drunker and shit or something, or high. I don't know what that happens. Well, there was ten of us sitting there. That happens yeah. at bars, and yeah, he kind of puts him in like a LVNR. Just for fun. Yeah. And uh, just screwing around. But it was right. like, hey, who the fuck are you? Right. You know, and it's get out of here. And then, uh, you know, we kind of had to tell dude in a forceful way, you need to leave. You didn't yeah. really want to leave. And so it was like, you need to leave. You're or, drunk, or, sir. Or, you need to leave. You might wind up hurt. <laughs> and so he left. High probability. Yeah. You're trip and fall. But then funnier <laughs> than shit, he shows up like a fucking hour later. Outside the hotel. We're all, having, by then. we're all having cigars outside the back fucking deck of the hotel. And he shows up just... Like, come stumbling in. It was weirder than hell. Like, hey, here I am. And <laughs> yeah, some, I'll just leave it at that. Yeah. Some, some drinking people. We, he was told to leave and he actually left right no, away. That he, time. Deci- <laughs> he decided that'd be a real good idea at that point to leave. Yeah. Not sure what happened to his face. I'm just I'm teasing now, but I, I wasn't there for that. I was back uh, at the room doing some uh, yeah. documentary. Listen to this guy trying to get out of an internal. I claim <laughs> no knowledge of this. I don't know what happened. Actually, this is the first time I've heard this story. Um, I just. <laughs> First time I've ever heard anything about no, that. No, he left. He decided, but that was not your guys' fault. That's no. just a drunk bar yeah, guy. Yeah, drunk dude come wandering into it. Yeah. But he decided it'd be a good idea to leave. Yeah, well, that's good. At least he had some common sense, even though he was drinking. Yeah. All right, let's 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 tie up day four, and then uh, we may take it out of here. Uh, we'll see. Let me let me see where we're at with our notes here. Uh, because we did nine days, so that would be, yeah, that would be pretty good. But I'm pretty sure we need to run this right freaking here. 
Hey, Bikeaholics, searching for new and exciting motorcycle products? Zero 3D has just what you're looking for. Check out their wide variety of innovative products for Harley Davidson motorcycles. Zero 3D's got your back with chrome lighting and comfort products. No modifying, cutting, grinding, or welding for an easy installation that equals less time installing more time riding zero 3d has a design team with over 40 years experience with a passion for design and innovation i guarantee it because i've been talking to them a lot lately guys these guys are bikers they care about bikers just like you they pride themselves in great customer service got a question get in touch with them via email sales at zero 3d.com or give them a call 715-808-0027 zero 3d is distributed in the united states by drag specialties in europe by parts of europe and zodiac and in asia by twin art check at your local Hardy dealership. Ask for zero parts. Better yet, help support us right here. Head over to lawbuddingbiker.com forward slash store. Check out our full line of zero 3D products. Can and I just, add something on that? You absolutely. You said that Should they, I leave the music going? Hang on. Yeah, leave the music going. You All said right. full line of chrome products. They've also come out with some black products because my bike's Ooh. got a blacked out motor and I've got their cup holder. Nice. I got the black chrome headlight and they're coming out with a few things. Nicely done. And I just released the... Uh, um, the new shock and awe two O system guys. And I've been on the horn with those guys a lot, just a great group of people that I've uh, gotten to know and, and become uh, friends with over some time here. So let's roll right into day four. I'll let one of you guys pick it up. Um, nine 30 AM kickstands up, right? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yeah. That's weird. Uh, so, consider oh, the this night a before Patreon meetup day. This yep. is, so we get oh, so here, here's the, let's d- d- uh, uh, tell me episode. this though. Riddle this. Um, What's riddle me this. Just because we got to do two parts. Should we cover patron meetup day and then roll out? And yeah. Finish? You, you think yeah, that'll be it? Let's, let's cover this day okay. and roll out. Let's do it. Let's do it. So here we go. We got patrons in the house. Patrons. So pipe up if you need to say something. All right. So 930 kickstands up. Uh, 930 meetup. Kickstands up at 10. And that was at the McDonald's parking lot. Uh, we all went and gassed Which up. Which was and, across the street, basically. Yeah, from, there was guys, though, that we had to go get gas, and guys were getting yeah. up in various stages. Before of we get into this too much, okay, most people already know that I was in the military, mm-hmm. and I did AIT in the Army in Missouri, Missouri, as we called it. Missouri. And, uh, no, Missouri. Missouri. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I remember, you know, it being humid there. I remember, you know, very humid. You sweat your ass off there. So, holy shit, though. You kind of forget over all the years, because I was Fuck, uh, 20 years ago, almost probably now, I guess. Well, eight, nine, 18 years ago. And holy shit, does it get humid there? Woo. The night before, remember the awesome uh, lightning storm that we saw yes. walking out of the bar? Yep. And that's the thing, man, is that country in there produces some awesome lightning storms. And uh, so the next morning, yeah, we wake up and it's probably 80, 85 degrees and about 95% humidity. You come walking out, sweating your ass off out of the hotel and the gauges on my bike are fogging up and stuff. I mean, just yes, oh, crazy, You're right? Crazy. So anyway, nine thirty, uh, kickstands up, and this uh, was a ten. This was a big deal, big day. And like we said, I just before we get uh, too deep into this, this is one of those deals, and we talked about it in the past. Is this is a multi trip? So we're meeting Bristol, Tennessee, sworn few guys. I got sworn few with me. Um, we're meeting patrons because uh, the night before, Mark Arnold, Russell, I believe, were at in Papillion. And then we kind of have evolved over time um, because I have to keep club interest in and law-abiding biker interest in in, 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 everything combined. So we kind of decided, and we told you guys that ahead of time, it is what it is. We got one day um, to do the patron meetup. And so we try to make it spectacular. And I just, I'm going to shout out to some people here in a minute. Um, I believe I added, uh, let's see, make sure I have it. Yeah, thanks to the following people. So um, Rick Bernstein is in here. I, 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 I'm i loosely following the chat here um, in the live event, but I will, uh, 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 Rick Bernstein was instrumental in this. You'll hear me talk about him um, in getting the setup because as we set these up in the future, we need local help. Last year, um, we had uh, the guys up in Canada, of course, and uh, helped us up there. So these guys had this, this was dialed in and we expect to spend the whole day. And that's exactly what we did. Anybody else want to pick it up from here? Our yeah. patrons just always had oh, a badass element. This, getting into they stuff do. This. Yeah. Good, time. good job. Yeah, right were, here. So we, we uh, went and got gas Surprising. on our own in the next morning and we were a bit slow. Yeah, there were some, I noticed you highlighted that the, people were leaving like one at a time, <laughs> two at a time, show notes. <laughs> two yeah. at a time to go get gas and moving a little slow the next morning. It's a yeah. good thing. It was a late start. Yeah, we were, uh, yeah, for the, 
<laughs> the patrons like these guys aren't too spry in the morning. <laughs> yeah. we, we may have been a little hungover because we had the crew from uh, Tennessee and whatnot. And we yes. were up, we were up partying with them. And like you said, most of that is probably Sarge's fault, Sturgis Jeff, you know, buying <laughs> shots and stuff. Well, and the Tennessee guys bought shots that night too. They did. Yeah, they yeah. did. Yeah. So shots plural. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we were up. We were up late that night. Uh, the night before. But we had planned this. I mean, that was the general time. So yep. it gave guys a chance to sleep in a little bit. Yep. But we were partying with them. First night, we'd got to hang out with them and stuff. And so, yeah. And we knew we didn't and have to hot. ride 700 miles. Exactly. This day. <laughs> and it was one of the few nights that we weren't riding a shit ton of miles. Right. Right. So we met at McDonald's across the street. 17 patron members mm. plus the sworn few guys. So I don't know how many 30 of us by that point. Yeah, right? I think that's Close. fair somewhere in there. Yeah. Um, and Rick and his uh, the guys that helped him out and, and not necessarily buddies of his, but people he just met through patrons and said, hey, I'm going to yeah. put this together. Who can help me out? And Who's guys, in the area? Who's in yeah, the local guys area? jumped in, helped out. So they took us on a ride. We stopped for a pit stop and a Before beer. Before you do that. That was cool. I like going on, you know, seeing kind of the, some of the countryside and stuff. And I always like... Like you were saying, there ain't you know a lot out, a lot of straight roads and stuff. I love that part of the country. Just oh, it's cruising beautiful. the trees and that the you get off the, you get off the freeway. It's beautiful. It's beautiful, it beautiful yeah. area out there. Even on the freeway, I like looking out. You see all the farms and just trees and stuff like that. Just this is cool, man. Yep, I agree. This particular ride, and that's what's nice wherever we go and we have patron meetups and connections throughout the country is we can get these local rides. And although it's totally different, and Rick Bernstein and the guys had told me, I'll tell you up front, they're like, I was emailing them before, and he's like. They see some of the videos mm-hmm. of us in the great Northwest mm-hmm. and all this mountainous green trees. Oh, yeah. And he's like, it's not the same as where you guys ride. I no. said, you know what? It doesn't matter. It's got its own beauty mm-hmm. because it's something we haven't seen exactly before. And so right. I'm, yeah. And so I'm okay with it, but they, it's they had awesome warned me another part of the country. Absolutely. And, it's, and it's like beautiful I said, it's in beautiful. Its own way. I know. I love going there and seeing that. And yeah, it's, you know, you guys are saying, oh, it's straight roads and, you know, just corn or whatever. You know, some people will say that, but Shit, I thought it was awesome. I yeah. love I love going and seeing that type of stuff and just somewhere else in the country. But it is. I mean, we are fortunate up here is that I would say, man, we have some of the best riding in the country up here. I mean, it, we, it is some beautiful mountainous area. And it's easy to, to, to uh, take that for granted. And not it just is. green, but twisty roads. Yeah. Twisty roads, mountains, yeah. just, yeah, mountain air. It's just crazy. But yeah, and so... We, uh, that was really cool. That was one of the coolest things of the trip. One of my highlights is just meeting everybody and putting these faces to the names that, uh, that we know mm-hmm. from these chats right here. You know what I mean? And putting those yep. names. So go ahead, Rob. Uh, we stopped in Ashland, Nebraska for a pit stop, just a quick beer. And I think Ross bought a round of beer. Yeah. Right, Ross, Ross Tomes. Tomes. Yep. Yeah, Shout dude. out to that. So yeah, that he, was he awesome. opened up the bar for a freaking open bar on that. That's yep. pretty badass. Yeah, that's that was crazy. Unbelievable. Pretty badass. Unbelievable. Badass. That's so. the kind of stuff that's going on in the uh, community, guys, is is Ross. Yeah, stepped on the plate. And then a bunch of the guys, I know Rick and a bunch of those guys bought a bunch of appetizers and stuff, too. Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. Then, yep. Yep. The yep. bunch of appetizers out there. He and did. So yeah, they tell had, about the yeah, Rick story, stuff. Dude. Rick had stuff up there on the, on, the, on the bar for eating and snacking on for everybody the entire time. Yep. I mean, just awesome stuff for the whole, you know, and I'm sure there was others you pitched in on that, too, that there were missing. Was. But just badass that the community does that. Yeah. Before we got into the actual bar, even... I don't know what in the hell Snowman was doing, but he got off his bike and dropped Russ, his fob. Russ just said, can, can you please stop calling me Snowman in chat? I'm no. just teasing. No, he didn't. No, he's, 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 he's no. Fine. He'll be fine probably. No, so we can't. He got off his bike and dropped his fob, and it went down the manhole. So, Leroy, take it over. Uh, yeah, he's, it lost, a, lost the keys in the, were, to the manhole. This was nice, dude, of you yeah. to do this. Yeah, um, it was. It was, <laughs> and I got it on film. Definitely going to make the documentary. So yeah, we're going in um, into the into this place for you know drink and and lunch and whatnot. And uh, Snowman freaking loses his keys, and he's like, "Shit!" His motorcycle well, key, right? His yeah, motorcycle fob. Yeah, right, right. His key fob. Uh-huh. Now he was probably luckily, close enough to leave there, but he'd yeah, been fucked that, after that. That's what we told him. Right? Can you fire it up with the fucking thing in there? Pull up and then, over the grate. Yeah, don't stop till Tennessee, right? <laughs> Actually, he did have another set on him but still you're looking at a key fob it's a couple hundred bucks you know to get a key fob done so anyway um we're not used to this these type of grates up here in the northwest they've got kind of, <laughs> we're not i know they've got these, these, funny, these, yeah, they've got these big freaking open well for people who yeah who don't know what i'm talking about because i've never seen them and shit you got to watch out they don't swallow your motorcycle correct um because if you get too close to the side of the road um you'll hit these damn it's built storm in storm drains yeah, they're built in this in the in the curb, and these storm drains will swallow your front tire. But so um, they're like what 
three foot long and and then they just slope right off to the side of the road well and they start sloping you know what a foot or two from the road yeah. so anyway he gets off his bike and somehow loses his keys drops them on the ground and they slide right into this freaking storm drain on the side of the road and so he can't quite reach down in there he's got his arm all the way down to the storm drain he can't get it and so um took a picture yeah, bro. Yeah, we did. That's right. We got his phone out and used his phone, hung his phone over into the manhole there, storm drain, and took a picture down into the storm drain, and you could see his keys down in there, but we couldn't reach down into there. Well, about... I didn't think what, you were going to get him. Eight, ten feet away or something like that, 10, 15 feet away from where his keys were, there was... That's where the manhole was. There was, a, there was the cover there, that uh, cover, and I was able to get my fingers in there and lift the thing up. And shit, remember that one about lost my damn fingers. I went, in, I went in and start drinking. I missed all this shit. <laughs> oh, I went to pick it up the first time and fuck those things are heavy. I got that on film. Cause I was like, what happened there? I figured you lost can or lost yeah. grip of it. I was like, Jesus yeah. Christ, dude, that's gotta be heavy, man. They're, they're heavy. That is uh, when I was, I was only lifting with my, cause like you only get like two or three fingers in there, but it was able to lift it up. And then, yeah, I was, there's kind of a little tunnel type of deal you crawled in the tunnel dude yeah to kind of jump in there like a freaking vietnam dude uh, tunnel, tunnel rat. rat tunnel rat dude, yeah. that's what i was thinking totally what i was thinking yeah. man. and there's yeah i was all covered in fucking uh that, spider webs and shit that right there is the community at its best i'm just saying russell he bought me a drink for it he did nice dude nice. on ross's tab <laughs> on ross's tab <laughs> Thanks, Ross, for... No, he did somewhere. I think yeah. it was the next place we stopped. Or something. He got, oh, it was the next day. That's right. He bought me lunch, Subway, uh, the next day when we were going to take off out of... Uh, oh, he rode to Kansas City with us, remember? Yeah. Oh, when, yeah. Where you're Kansas right, right. City was? Yeah. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah. He Russell did. rode down there? Yeah. So That day it rained, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And the next yep. day, yeah, he bought me lunch for it. Yep. Yep. Awesome, dude. Good story. But uh, yeah, I was uh, glad. I don't know what we would have did without uh, R- uh, Russell's keys there. So... Um, yeah, it was really cool to just, that's really when we started relaxing and getting to know the patrons more. And I got to, I got to move around and, and get a little more personal with a lot of the patron members. And again, I'm going to, we're going to do a list cause I've got some thanks. Um, uh, Rick Burdenstein headed it up, but boy, he had a, a ton of help, uh, down there and they just made it just a successful, uh, great event. So, um, yeah. Thanks, Ross, for that. And thanks, everybody that bought the appetizers and all all that. So where did I get uh, BW? Oh, that's what it was called. BW's Pub and Grill. Is that what it was called? Yep. Yeah. Then we rode yep. to the Omaha Gun Club. Mm. They had this set up, straight up, ready to go, right? Rick Bernstein and those, everybody had yeah, the, their wives were there working. They were there already preparing food. There was people already there preparing everything. I mean, and I'm just saying, I just, because I want to give it the proper credit that and i'm not just saying that this it's amazing the level of dedication and organization that went into this like last year in canada you know i'm emailing back and forth and rick knows and i'm emailing and we got a lot of questions and he's got questions and you know um i will tell you they sported a big part of this bill lab sent him some money and i wanted to send more i'm like i don't know how much you need and we went through this whole thing you but texter I, I will tell you that uh I will tell you that financially, um, I know for a fact that those guys over there, um, those, those, those my wife is still there, listening. Oh my God. Please <laughs> in deep shit. Oh my God. He may never be able to come to my house oh, again. No. This is exactly what I, yeah, dude, you're n- neither of you are getting, I'm cruise, texting her. I was still thinking about giving you a cruise tools. Neither of you Why, are getting what cruise tools. What did anything? I fucking do? <laughs> Yo, what's that? have to do? You're, you're, you're with him. Saying about your wife. You're with him. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god yeah here we go this is live so um these, that's freaking funny dude but back on that so thank you guys i told her to go to bed <laughs> don't worry about it It was just a joke <laughs> you're fucked <We're, laughs> <laughs> ryan can i stay here i don't even, i don't even want to go home <laughs> robbie there's a bed right over there dude just for you i'm all gonna right. get beat on Leroy's behalf <laughs> And thank you guys for being in the chat. I see all that you guys uh, thanking each other and all that. So I see a lot of names that they're in there that were actually there. So um, yeah, just a stellar event. Omaha gun club guys, the awesome, awesome hospitality. The food was to die for with that said, let me get in and I want to thank the following people. Um, I did talk to Rick Bernstein who's over there um, in that area 
And uh, like I said, this gun club was a, it's a private club. We had the whole upstairs. There was a shuffleboard pool table, right? Pool table, shuffleboard oh, yeah. bar, yeah. the food. I mean, we couldn't ask for a better venue uh, to, to do something like this where we didn't mm-hmm. have to deal with the public outside influence and all that kind of stuff. I got to fly my drone right from the roof because there was a patio where we smoked some cigars and I got to get some drone footage. And again, that's all coming up in the documentary film. Some of that will make it, but patron Rick Bernstein and his wife, Belinda Bernstein, uh huh, his daughter, Brianna Bernstein and her dude, man, Brendan Hall. I'm just reading what Rick wrote me here, Rick Bernstein. So patron Florian, Tony Plazek and his wife, Carla and her cousin, Kim patron, Joe Baker and wife, Rhonda patron Lee Jagger um, and especially patron Dave King. Um, shout out to Bree and the Omaha Gun Club for accommodating us with a great facility at no charge. Uh, we will mention that they didn't charge us for that uh, to, to have the gun club. So that's amazing. Also, a uh, plug for, of course, BW's Pub and Grill. They scheduled extra staff, especially for us to make sure we are taken care of. So all the appetizers and drinks um, where we stopped there. BW's Pub and Grill, that was Ashland, if I remember correctly from what I said. Patron Ross Tomez, of course, made sure no one paid for their drinks at BW's, which is just still uh, amazing to me, unfathomable. Um, yeah, so there you go. I want to make sure. Uh, by the way, oh yeah, that's that's funny. Okay, I'm just reading some of the email that I did back and forth with Rick uh, Bernstein. So there you go, guys. Live, I'm telling you, absolutely stellar event. I couldn't imagine doing one thing better. And as we move forward here at Law Abiding Biker Media um, and we have these patron meetup events, it is just a lot of work and Rick will tell you. And maybe next year we'll steer you to Rick or steer you to Patton, John Patton or Lister up in Canada on how they did it. Maybe they have some tips, but we do. uh, We can send some money, but at the end of the day, it's up to the patrons making it happen for these type of community events where we can all get together in, in a different state, in a different area. It really takes a ton of organization and I don't want to make that seem like that's a small feat in what they put together. And the bigger we grow, uh, the harder that gets, uh, because again, 17 patrons, about 30 people with the club and everybody that was riding with us. So anything you guys want to say about the patron event, there was some shuffleboard played some pool and just eats and drinks. I will say as we go forward, we can't stay late at night. And, and even Rick, he did, he offered and his home and some of the patrons was there, his home the night before, remember that night and the night before. Yeah. Yeah. And he had yeah. offered it to us and in no way do we, you know, in, in no way do we want people to think that we don't want that hospitality. It's just when we're riding that hard, we got to be up early the next day and we got to lay down miles and I don't need the crew to have another late night. So we kind of try to restrict ourselves to the patron event and it's usually an early evening and we bust out and do our thing and get some sleep and get up and lay miles the next day. So just for future, yeah, no offense, but it's dedicated that one day and outside of that's club time. So if you don't get butt hurt, if we say, Hey, yep. Patron day's done. Good. You know, butt hurt another way. That's your deal. Oh, geez. That's on you. Uh, Here we go. Um, But yeah, no. And as we tweak things here, um, everybody knows us. We've tweaked it over time. And I had told Rick that it's definitely not in personal. We have the one day it's dedicated to that. And then we got to get back to um, club or whatever else, uh, you know, kind of things we have going on. So, um, but absolutely amazing event. Ryan, you have a proposition in the uh, (laughs) chat. Do I? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What do I got? You must be drinking tonight. (laughs) Hopefully. Hopefully. So shit, when we uh, when we took off out of the freaking uh, dinner and stuff, remember going home? It started raining on us. Yes, I was going to say we Holy got pissed on, dude. Shit, yeah, it started pissing on us. And me Somebody and Aldia up front too. Yeah, go ahead. Me and Aldia up front, and we come up to a, a stoplight, and the thing kind of freaking oh, changed quicks. It quicks quick. It, it changed quick on us, and uh, man, it rained the day before though. So I was surprised how slick the roads were. Yep. And oh, LD went to hit his brake. Totally, and, dude. Yeah, ABS slid into the middle of the intersection, and I'm full ABS coming to a stop. Yep. 
and he went to get back on it because he'd already slid into the intersection ways and he's sliding his rear his rear end is sliding all over the place 2018 bike and yeah. I had that fucker damn near sideways. I was Rear, shitting my pants. Too. Rear end sliding all over. Oh, the and then when I went to take off at that light, my my ass yep. end started sliding all over the damn place. Dude, those roads were freaking slick. Clearly, it hadn't rained in a little while. No. What are you? You catching up on his comments? Aren't no, you? he's just laughing. I'm trying to see the comments, dude. <laughs> you, uh, you probably don't want to read that one out loud. Here we go. We love our Little patron donations, <laughs> but we love donations. Go. We do. Riley Brock of St. Augustine, Florida. After asking a question via email, what was that about? I don't remember the question, but right. sometimes they can great leave a question, donation. Great question. Yeah. Because we spend a lot of time answering people's emails. William Richardson didn't leave his place, but we love you for giving us a donation. Stephen Seleski of Kenosha, Wisconsin. Kenosha. There you go. Thanks, guys. Lawbodybiker.com forward slash donate. That's how you get there. Of course, we love our patrons. We want you to become a patron member um, because you can get benefits and we can get to know you better in the private Facebook group. These these live events, um, these patron meetups, all that kind of stuff. But we understand if the only way that you want to support us is through a just a flat donation, um, we appreciate it. So lawbodybiker.com forward slash donate. Thank you, guys, uh, for that. It definitely puts a little fuel in the lawbiding Biker gas tank so we can keep this thing heading on down the road. We are at 845. This is crazy, but we are about out of here. You guys are laughing over there. Ryan's got to get to Chicago. I don't even. <laughs> I am. I can't follow all the comments, so I can't. I, you guys will have to fill me in because I, I can't. I can't go Uh-oh, back you- the whole thread. There's too much. Is it something we can say? Is no. it not appropriate for the podcast? No. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> Very, oh. Yeah, your movie's in very cool. <laughs> Jeez, now I want to read it, dude. I can't see it. I oh, can't fuck. see it. Oh god, dude! Chat. The whole chat's going off the rails. Oh, Are they? Oh my yeah. god! If yeah, you guys, yeah. even more reason to become a patron member because yeah, this you'll, thing just you'll, blew you'll, up. You'll never get to see this if you're listening in podcast format later. You'll never be part of the party here. So um, I'm just saying, honestly, I don't. Very cool. <laughs> I can't. All right. I can't even get in there, dude. Oh I can't. I, there's too many comments in there, dude. All right. All right. So anyways, <laughs> let's sum it up. Let's take it out. And then let's, I want to ask you this patron members. We are live. Tell us, I get it. It's a lot of time to dedicate. Part two will actually probably go a little bit quicker because we got five through nine and we got through the patron event and all that. If you guys want us to stay on live, we will. We'll take a small intermission. Just tell me, yes, yes, yes. That's all you have to comment or no, I got to go. No, I got to go. And if I see enough yeses, I'm staying. We'll just do like a three minute intermission, uh, take a leak, get some beers and that kind of stuff. And uh, we'll come right back with part two. Um, I'll wait for those and then we will take part one out. But I get it if you guys got to go to bed and you can't hang anymore. This is long. If so. you're a pussy and can't hang, that's cool. Whatever. Oh, geez. Yeah, Todd happens. Baker, yes. David Schwartz, yes. Ryan Chandler, Columbia Love awaits. Columbia it's Love? Got, <laughs> Columbian Love awaits. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> Chicago. <laughs> oh, God. Sweet oh, is this really Chicago. Some, is this really something we, we can't discuss? Okay. Yes. All right. Okay. Yes. Gary Jackson, yes. Do- okay, cool. We're, that's what we're doing, guys. Let's take it out, and then I'll do a. a we'll keep you live. We'll keep yeah. this live thread. Arizona going. Arizona is hilarious. Oh my god, dude! You guys are gonna have to tell me this at intermission. Oh god! <laughs> it only took six hours. One guy says, "For oh yeah, we're getting down the road now." Oh my god! Now, keep this some bitch moving on down the road. Keep it on. <laughs> I want to thank Pablo Calcerada, patron member. Is he in there? Because he, this is his song. I haven't seen him. All right. Sometimes he's in. Sometimes he's not. So. There you go, guys. Thanks for tuning in. That is part one of two of our patron uh, and, and our Midwest 10-day 4,500-mile uh, motorcycle trip. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and we're coming back at part two of two. And believe me, if you think this was action-packed, I guarantee there's just as much uh, uh, nuggets and funny stuff and cool stuff. Shit show. More <laughs> shit show. More <laughs> bike breakdowns coming up in part two of two because it only got worse with bike breakdowns. So make sure that you come back um, if you're listening in podcast format and hit part two of two because it's going to be action packed as well. There you go. I will tell you one thing. When I got back, my bike was freaking trash because it had goat's oil from his bike all over my bike mm. rain bugs bike bright spray motorcycle cleaner degreaser motorcycle wet wash that's what i used on it guys right 
away. And it, it, it even took a little scrubbing. Absolutely the best wet wash motorcycle cleaner on the market. Bike Bright. Tried and tested right here by the Law Abiding Biker Crew. It's our number one go-to wet wash motorcycle cleaner. Super foaming triple action formula. Gets in all the cracks and crevices. That's right. You know how we don't like dirty cracks and crevices, Popeye. Mm-hmm. No, we don't. That's right. Easy as pie. Spray it on. Let it soak. Rinse off bikeaholics. This is not a snake oil, it's not, bikeaholics. That, that's right. We talked about that. <laughs> not a snake oil. It's not a snake oil. I just washed mine today with it. Did you? Nice. Yeah. Before you came down. Well, my bike was a shit show because shit I haven't show. washed it since we got back from this trip. Oh, so it was oh, baked mess. on. Mess. Mess. I can't believe you didn't wash it since then. Yeah, crazy. Dude, dude. I've been working overtime almost I every know. day. I've worked 80, 90 Me hours. Too. Me too. I've been working a lot. Pop yeah, up. you lying <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> Check out our whole line of bike bike products for your specific motorcycle cleaning and detailing needs. Lawbiddingbiker.com forward slash store. Big Daddy Kane and Goat have it in stock ready to ship you direct right now. While you're over there, don't forget to pick up a bottle of Bug Slide Water with Motorcycle Cleaner. That's what we all used while we were on this 10-day trip for that uh, uh, waterless clean for maintaining your bike in between wet washes. Thanks for being here, guys. We're out and uh, look forward to seeing you in part two.